We're live, we're live, all right. Hey. Okay, welcome to another session of Secrets and Snakes. Uh, another Monday night, but this Monday might be a bit, uh, it might go dark. That I will do a, a content and emotional warning to both players and viewers that we will uh, more or less be experiencing what will be the most intense night so far for our yeah. yeah. Uh, what what's yeah, in store? We don't know, but we will try to conclude the activities of tonight this present night and hopefully we move on to later days but for now we're still in the dark we're still it's the night is growing ever darker and before we start the session of course we have our we always have our recaps we always have our uh look sees you know of what happened and um we'll do something slightly different today so we're gonna start first with our first recapper from the perspective of moth in their scene so you have the floor try to paint a picture of what happened last time i'll oh, count it as learning know. curves because uh I, you didn't have learning curves. I'll, put, I'll put the plus one when you do this <laughs> oh yay yay i don't have to ride yeah um, no, no worries <laughs> Moth was sitting and dining with Seal and was trying to uh, delay as much as possible, um, figure out some delaying tactics, and in the process of it, uh, Moth felt like Seal was trying to get information out of them, and as the best, as much as they could, they tried to uh, avoid uh, giving too much information. Um, during the conversation, Seal started asking. A seal started showing what is happening outside, and Moth was surprised to see that the gang has somehow found them. And at one point, uh, a the the portal and what looks like a portal was opened so that they could watch what is happening outside, and Moth enacted what they thought was a big brain play by exploding themselves into a mist of blood and getting everywhere just like glitter but uh, that attempt was supposed to be an attempt to escape that situation but as it turns out the portal is not a portal and just a viewport yep <laughs> oh yep so, in their failed attempt at escape, Moth, like a cornered animal, decided that it's time to have a do the backup plan. And the backup plan was fuck shit up. So, Moth fuck shit. Fuck. <laughs> seal up as much as they could, possibly. And. And I they think that. The plan is going sideways since there wasn't a plan in the first place, and somehow Yelly is here, or I mean, a girl is here. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh wait, oh the UK's okay, so I first named hers already. <laughs> no, just a very sassy lady came out of a portal. Yeah, indeed. Um, so why is that sassy lost child nagging at me? <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing? What are you doing? For? So, uh, thank you for that recap. I guess a little insight uh, to. Oh, uh, we still have the old background, but um, I just want to get um, Moth's insight, mm -hmm. uh, or at least actually, I want to know the players' insight. How do you think this night will end? A little expectation, you know. It's just a. What do you? How do you think this night will end for for the, you know. The character, your character specifically, that doesn't have to be everyone else. We're all gonna go home and have a good time. Hell yeah! <laughs> so yeah, okay. we're definitely not gonna fucking die. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Yeah, yeah dying is cringe. Shut the fuck. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, I don't want to be cringe. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, so with that. <laughs> 
uh, with that little recap out of the way, we shall start the scene. Not from there, <laughs> but from uh, a certain individual who is uh, stuck at, you know, coming to terms with their newfound mortality. Da, 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 da. But I just realized something while you were in the middle of doing recap. Hold on. I did a derp. Don't worry about it. God damn it, Sin. What is with you and your long playlists? Ah! No, it's, it's okay. No, I, no, yeah, it's okay. Sorry. I was scrolling up. Here it goes. I was like, why is it too quiet? And then I realized we didn't have this. So we're good. All right, we start the first scene. Separate from the the mess that is happening in Gentilly, we go back to Treme. In the inn at the old jail, in one of the medical wards, the, the rooms that are changed into, um, you know, um, just the makeshift beds. Uh, you know that it has, you know, the way that they organize things. There would be a designated room where all the medical supplies would be. Just general guerrilla uh, tactics of uh, uh, medication. If somebody tears a, a, a muscle or, or like gets a laceration. All the sewing stitching will be happening in this ward and you happen to be in it because of your sustained injuries for the night uh, there were a couple of dire wounds uh, onismo specifically that tended to your wounds up until you asked him to get kfc <laughs> or some fast food um which he obliges as you are you definitely look like shit. <laughs> And somewhere past, um, it, the time now is, it is past Tuesday night. It feels like, as you sit here minutes in the old jail, like, what just happened earlier in the night? The blood hunt and everything. It feels surreal that it actually happened, as your heart continues to do the thump, the thump, the thump. Um, feel your heart beat. Everything aches. You feel your wounds a lot more present. Then your phone, wherever it is, um, vibrates, letting you get notified that there is a text message. You check the text message, and it came, at least, much to your surprise, introduces Becca and needs your help. How does Samus respond to this? May I ask, is it is the message saying this is Becca, I need help, or is there like an actual name to the number in the phone or it, it... Um you never got her number as far as I know. No. Uh, <laughs> and she has not got well, it mine. <laughs> but you did get a text and it's saying it's Becca. Like, I need your help, Samus. So this is a this is definitely a message for you. Yep. Yeah. It's short. Uh, how long would you have probably stared at this message? Like five minutes, a minute, processing? Is this an actual thing? Of course, it's an unregistered number, so it's just like a trail of numbers. Uh, probably about two minutes, uh, then three, and it's like, I don't think she... I ever gave her the actual number, unless she got it somehow else. Uh. Um, sending a message back um, to double check which of the three cards uh, was left with me that Cass gave us I mean, you know a couple of seconds pass by a response hangman dumbass
Where do you need me? There's a bit of while for a response. Well, whilst, whilst that response happens, it's like... He groans a little bit to himself and it's just like... Oh, now I gotta get out. Um... Yeah. No one else uh, has a I will say that because of your recent trans uh, you know, transition to being a mortal, whatever damage you've sustained, um, I think you only healed one. Yeah. So whatever your health is at this point in time stays. It has not been the next night, so there's no way you can full heal. And now that you're mortal, um, there's we're gonna do a special roll to see if you. Uh, Gain at least a little bump up, like of the super superficial damages that you got. Aggravated will take at least for mortals a day, like an actual night cycle to heal each aggravated. I don't think you got any aggravated. No, sure, Mark. It's all superficial. Okay, so we'll just roll a little bit and see if you like, but it's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time for you to heal. We'll only allow one heal per night. You can't end whatever it is you take. Yeah. But you're not gonna be yeah. healing properly. Uh, so you want me so you'll be something? taking. Uh. Wait. Right now, no, because you just got patched up, and I think I already gave you one healing yeah. point. Yeah, you gave me one healing point for it. Yeah. Yeah. So. I will, just for declarations, when it is Wednesday night, you will be warranted a stamina roll, just to see if we heal any aggravated. But yeah. other than that, you're you're in a shitty you're in a shitty farm right now. <laughs> uh, I would just say uh, there's no response yet. She actually and like five minutes pass. Yeah. Uh, six minutes uh, pass. At that point, seven minutes like... pass. Can Samus try and sneak out of the, like, go through the Wait, window if he can? Yeah, roll for dexterity and stealth. I do not yeah. have any specialties for it. Yay. Yay. <laughs> 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 Uh, willpower. <laughs> I mean, you do have willpower. Uh, the, nothing. You haven't used any of your willpower in the previous session, so you're fine. You're fine for now. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, yeah, just special considerations because you're immortal. No hunger dice doesn't apply to you as uh. of this point in time. Shitty fucking rolls. <laughs> uh -huh. You feeling? You feeling? You feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Being a mortal. Okay, you start. Uh, try to paint us a picture on how Samus is trying to make an exit with a fucked up leg and injuries and bandages all over himself. Go on. <laughs> well, considering, like he's considering like just walking out, but it's just like everyone already knows he's there and like. He's near back in the morning. It's like if I go out now, someone's just gonna drag me right back in. Um, seeing the window there, he's gonna um, try and open it. But considering it's probably like older windows sort of style, so it's probably taking a bit of effort to open and makes a bit of sound. Uh huh. So as you're doing that and you're taking a step out. Somebody does a yell like Jesus. Someone is at the side outside, looking like they seen a ghost with <laughs> how you came out, <laughs> and they drop their bottle and they go and pick it up. Hey. Hey. Guys. hey. Seen you in a what are you doing? Look, you look like hell. You should, you should rest up, buddy. And like you see, he's he has a bit of a sway. He's definitely had something to drink. You definitely should stay, stay. 
Down, boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just... Sam has fully climbed out of the window instead of being half in the window. Um, Where are you going? He takes a minute to think. Oh. So there's this girl. <laughs> There's like this pin drop of like his smile, even his drunks, uh, drunken state. He goes like shocked for a bit. Samus? I need you to be quiet, you... please. <laughs> you ain't got time for a girl. What are you talking about? I... You even said it yourself. You ain't got time for them women's. If I don't go, I'm fucked. If I go, <laughs> I'm fucked. Depending uh, on which way I go. It sounds like a fun time. Well. So I'm trying to get whatever help she needs now and make it back by morning. You want me to keep a secret? You want me, you know, not tell the boss man that you're seeing some girl? He like clasps his hands together and just like, please. Okay, you need to roll for a charisma and persuasion for this situation. <laughs> Yippee! Becca's gonna for... fucking kill him. <laughs> Mortal roll. This is, you know. I might. I might. You just gotta bring me another bottle when you get back. And he, he wiggles um, uh, a whiskey. Looks to be Jack Daniels. For a week. Uh, Deal. Uh, you know, yeah. uh, like he shakes his right hand with you. He goes, Onisi must have been trying to get me off the bottle, but I told him I'm fine. Just a couple of bottles is all. The drinking problem is probably because of my fault. What? What do you mean? Seeing you tear bodies in that bridge? Seeing some shit in the bar? <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> Drinks again. Yeah, well, I'll make sure to get you... Um... Some more. Yeah. Oh, you're not the only one sneaking out, by the way. In back at the motel, I've been going going in and out here in the inn and the motel. I doubt it. Uh, what was that? Between Marigny, something. Motel. Sixty six, eighty six, ninety six. I can't remember. But anyway, Chris has been going out. We know. Chris has been Chris has been going out, you know. They got lives. Even even um even Grant's kid has been sneaking out as well. You can't keep them there forever. You gotta let them go sometime. We know, we know. Okay, <laughs> Lodi. Oh, and he goes. Hey, your lady's got a name. He kind of wiggles his mustache and eyebrows. If I told her, she'd probably rip my throat out. Hey, hey, she doesn't know me. She does. She does. If you don't tell her that we talk, you know. She knows the doctor. Yeah, yes. Well, I don't know her, so give a name. Otherwise, I'm gonna call bullshit on this. Ah, oh, fine. Um, Rebecca. Bam. That's a good stripper name. All right, I'll see you around. Hell yeah. <laughs> he waves his hand and That's he's like, his, his head is down. He's just like, I'm going to fucking regret this. And he says, you can... and you just hear him doing some humming and talking to himself. Yeah, he's, he's, he definitely did not, um, take whatever it is that happened. He's, he's definitely, um, he's definitely drunk. Hello. Hi. So, where are you off to now? You check the message again. And Becca has not responded. Um, 
I am going to um, a nearby park because I have a thing okay. that can help me summon um, yeah. mother. Okay, I believe you've made insane rolls off off screen uh, yeah. for, for this. <laughs> yeah. A few crits so, here and there. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's just so where all your rolls went. Yeah, it just it just happened to go off screen, and whenever it's on screen, they're like, ah, "I'm shy." Hello. Streamer uh, luck. Streamer luck. <laughs> <laughs> no, when it comes to getting law stuff, crits. When it comes to everything else, you're fucked, buddy. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, I gotta give you a random. Oh wait, not a random one, because with your roll, you actually get to the border between Treme and Mid City, which is Saint John's Bayou. Uh, you get to one of the parks near there. Um, uh, and assuming you just find a tree nearby with a bit of loose soil, start digging with your bare hands, mm -hmm. put the item, which is, um, so it seems to be braided straw, very odd, and, uh, compact the soil. Your hand is still caked with, um, mud, more or less, when... You hear a rush of others' movement and something like a brush of wind, rustling of trees, and from the shadows behind one of the trees. Um, yeah, it's been a while. You haven't you haven't gone back here, <laughs> but um, at this you sound you hear the sounds of contorting feathers and. From the silhouette of the shadow behind the tree, a bird turns into a human. I see that I have been summoned. And as there was an initial smile at seeing you, but the moment they take an inhale, their smile freezes. It drops. And you notice that they hold their breath. What happened? Oh, I thought you were gonna say the next part that she has there. Oh, uh, no, no, this is ad lib now. Oh, god damn it! God, damn it. I'm not gonna read it word for word. This is... <laughs> Jeez, they're they're guidelines. <laughs> Well, I killed my sire, and now I've come back to being mortal. But it wasn't the reason I sort of summoned you. I summoned you to ask if you knew where Becca was. Um, you can tell there, there's a lot of questions written on her face um, with how that transpired. She, um, like, there's definitely, uh, she seems to dwell a bit on your state of being, how she mutters, like, as she spaces out for a while, like, this is very much on brand for Mother. She seems to be in a trance, and then blinks. Mortal, no longer one of us. You truly are of the stories, a miracle to behold, or a nightmare to others. As you bring up Becca, of course, there's a distraction to what are the questions in her head. And her serious look has now a sad smile as she goes, Ugh. Yeah, it is kind of you to think that Becca still calls to her mother. But we have not spoken, not since the Ambrosian. I keep my distance now, but I have tried to follow her. Did 
den var cut off. Oh. Oh. Den var DC. <laughs> oh. I think the well. internet. Uh, my Commercial break. <laughs> Curse my left off. <laughs> <laughs> It died. I don't know why. Anyways, sorry guys. I'm back. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we're, we're okay. We're okay. I'm just gonna wiggle my mouse every now and then. I forgot to wiggle it. <laughs> I thought it would it would at least stay away because I'm like using a couple of anyways. Um. So where we? She basically. Yeah. Where did I cut off? Tell, uh, tell me where I cut off. Yeah. Cut off at um. Uh. She did. Uh, at the, you tried to follow her. Okay. She does inform that she tried to follow Becca once after the events, but uh, she did not take kindly to it. She was following one of the kindred from Invictus, the attorney. She told me to keep away. She was very much angered. She's trying to take the world on her shoulders again, trying to keep things together. And she should learn to simply let go. Hmm. Well, no. she's asking for help. That's why I've asked her. Um, well, that's why I sort of summoned you. If there's a way you can help me help her. Well, I'm not sure if you know, but Becca has a troubled past. Your newfound humanity will be a struggle to her. But what are stories without their conflicts? Struggles to be overcome. I... I am not sure what I can do. Given the circumstances, a mother can only do so much if the child wishes to stay away. I know a bit of her story and the struggles that she has gone through. And when you told the story of what happened to father and how he passed in front of her, Well, I'm not sure how I can help back in any way as you already know as much as I do, but your story will continue as is hers. It seems to me that you are fated to be the demon at which she has long tried to evade. I hope you're ready for this. But beyond this, how else can I help you? I'm afraid, in relation to Becca, I cannot tell you where she's been or her whereabouts. I do not have such abilities. Well, I'm still going to go help her, but would you be willing to work together with the movement? and have any independents that might want to work together with them. As it seems the Camarilla have their hands in, in this. And... Yeah. What makes you say the Camarilla's here? Like, her eyes, actually, at the mention of the cams, there's a sharpness to it. The cams. What makes you say they, they're in on this? Well, from my yeah. sire, he said that Austin is conspiring or cooperating with the false Sabah. False. Ah. Uh, well, 
They are definitely not Sabat if they are even considering working with the Camarilla Court. I will tell you that much. Would you be able to tell me any other information on the true Sabat? A pause. It is a long, long story. A history. One that goes beyond us. In a way, they are the opposite side of the coin of the Camarilla. Since the Camarilla existed, Sabat has come to be. As you can tell, no one takes kindly to the courts. Kindred, for the, very, for the most part. There's something about restrictions and those who believe that they are above certain laws and how they can twist it for their power with such tyrannical situations. Anarchy. A revolt would begin. But the Sabbat is slightly different. They're more... They believe in the more older things that in which the court, the Camarilla, tried to be modern. They tried to reject the old and go with the new. The Sabbat embraces the old, but not in the way that most do. They believe in the legends of the first kindred, the antediluvians, and they base their core beliefs in it. They believe in Gehenna, the end of our kind, and they work towards making sure that we do not come to our end. They work to preserve, survive, the court care cares only for appearances, for power. They care as much of their traditions and how they set it, but not of the lore, of Cain, of stories of old. Just know that if there is any Sabbat working with the Camarillas, they are not of Sabbat as Sabat is the antithesis of, uh, of the Camarilla Court. They are often misconstrued to be the worst of the worst, satanic, demonic. Well, you know, I think of it as a means to an end. Antithesis! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, she pauses there and says, I hope that would suffice. If, as for the independence, I... I will see what I can do. The movement, for the most part, has been housing a lot of those that many of the court will throw away. I see no reason that they will start to return to their old masters when the masters beckon they will fight for this freedom and peace I'll round up as much as I can speak to as many and on cue your phone sh vibrates ink ink He checks it. It's from Becca. <laughs> she was like, "Shit, I thought I sent this." <laughs> like, cause like the the second message said, "Where the fuck are you?" And then she says, "Oh shit, I thought <laughs> I sent this." <laughs> you can tell that she is not good with tech. Uh, she does give you the coordinates uh, on what seems to be somewhere in downtown, a specific warehouse.
and it's actually close to the uh, from the landmarks if you see it in Google Maps. Wait, does your phone? Is your phone a smartphone? Yeah, it's. Yeah. Okay, so you actually know that it's near the Cabildo. Um, he puts the phone away and... No! It's not... Wait. It's oh, a it's couple... <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's between the... It's between the Cabildo and the Venture Tower. So it's within boundaries of downtown. Yeah. Uh... Wait, I wonder... No, you weren't there, so you just know that the location is just downtown. But I should know of the downtown area anyway. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was Dire Wolf Turf. It's just, uh... Yeah, yeah that's it for now. Mm -hmm. She seems to be in a rush. She's telling you, like, hurry. We don't have much time. Yeah. Um... Thank you, Mother. Um... Do what you can. Um, all the help... is greatly appreciated. I will keep in touch. You will find the black feather should I arrive. Thank you. It will be a sign that I am coming with news. She moves away now, and then she stops and goes, I hope that Becca will be alright. Whatever it is she is going through right now. Call your mother before me. Woo, confidence levels. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, so we will transition the scene now to the warehouse district. Man, this area is a throwback. God damn. Da, 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 da. I am not ready for this. <laughs> uh, I know you're not. <laughs> Uh, I will just put this. No, uh, we're going back to the old maps. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, um, I need you to roll. Let's see if you if you get there on time. Do a quick a, a quick intelligence and streetwise. And I, I think you have a plus one on gang area, so you can add that. Yep. For streetwise, and then. Depending on your success roll, I need you to roll for dexterity and stealth to see if you uh, maneuver this area quietly or if you're spotted. That's a crit. <laughs> Gag. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, from your knowledge, um, there is a dedicated warehouse district down below but for this particular uh there is a section of warehouses but it's specific to the more um like it's related it's tied to businesses um like it's it's much better for like businesses to be attached to a certain warehouse so it's like more on an economic side of things yeah um and it's more or less like for warehouses in these kinds, they're more for like private. Like, so this is like where you would usually do the hits to try to get some good stuff in this area. So you have stolen from here before. You pass by and you start to see the logo as a, like a huge V. And it actually says uh, Venture Towers. And Wait, I have I haven't made a recollection, but I'll just let you do this. Do a quick intelligence and politics. Intelligence and politics. Two out of three. <laughs> you something tells you this is tied to a kindred like no no shit but you can't put your finger if it's an invictus 
any someone from the Invictus. You've heard it somewhere during the briefing of uh, some time ago. Uh, there was like a quick debrief on what transpired. I think this is like a throwback episode. You were debriefed, I think, by Gossy or somewhere to that effect, yeah. of like the locations of like who owns certain locations when you asked about who are the kindred yada yada so this might this is invictus but you can't tell which of the invictus owns this area so i need you to do a quick dexterity stealth as you walk around this area wow wow look at those ones <laughs> Like someone wants to be spotted. Okay. Can you do a quick wits awareness? I will say you can add hostility to this one. Walmart Tower Tang, it is, it is not the Walmart Tower. How dare you? Oh my How god. <laughs> I am using willpower on this one. <laughs> yes, would be good. Would be good. <laughs> Be good right now. Oh my fucking god. I am getting thrashed with the dice rolls tonight. <laughs> yeah, well, this is, this is what you get. You're mortal now. The dice have willed it. <laughs> the tables uh, have turned! The turns have tabled. How do you feel it? Do you feel it now, Mr. Krams? Do you feel it? <laughs> uh, this is beautiful. Okay. Ow, ew, stop, stop. God damn it. So, in this moment, you're like walking in and you realize like you realize it's an afterthought because you're the type of person who might be brazenly walking into areas where you shouldn't be side eyes diner side eyes uh the brewery <laughs> you know, the history of things you forget that you are mortal you walk brazenly into what is private property <laughs> uh so when you realize that in a millisecond, you stop in your tracks and you immediately pick up on movement like because this is a this is almost like a yard of sorts mm -hmm. and you kind of made it through like a, what is already an open gate. You just start to pick up later on like, oh, the gate's open. Oh, um there's sounds like like let's say two blocks away because it is a huge yard you see the logo of the venture tower you start to take a couple of back steps you don't you realize only a second after there is a hand that darts from behind you grabs tightly on your shoulder yanks you to one of the container vans and pulls you really harshly like you feel fingers digging into you and they pull you in and then they go are you out of your goddamn mind someone says this in gritted teeth you are a fucking idiot for just walking in there what if they saw you what if they fucking saw you you idiot she hasn't let go of you and she has death pincers on your arm like you actually feel it now <laughs> Can you actually roll for it? Can you let go of the skin before it fucking breaks? What do you- what do you mean? And then she's confused? I will actually have her roll for something. Oh, let's see her awareness. Buddy. Oh wait, no. No. <laughs> God damn it. It's not one roll. <laughs> That would be dumb. Um, let's see. Uh, Damn, her wits has really <laughs> dropped down there. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Okay, yeah. Um, she hasn't noticed something yet. <laughs> it's like, what? What, what the fuck? What? You, you're a whip now. You're squishy now. I'm like, jeez. She, she lets go. Look, I. I squishy this is wait. She looks confused, and then she again looks and like, yeah, you look like a mess. Jeez. Anyways. While you were gallivanting and doing your fucking blood hunt with Morrison or whatever, 
there's something big. I just, like, we don't have much time. And she kind of, like, she looks again as, you know, there's sounds. Both of you pick up on the sounds. There seems to be movement. And, like, actions. I'll give you the lowdown. Because you came fucking late. I don't know how much time we have. And we don't have much of the night left. Um, so... Uh, I, I came across, a con like, I, I was sneaking about. Dice was asking a couple of weirdos. Um, I don't know who they are, but they seem to be new in town. Um, one had, like, one had Yakuza vibes. I should probably ask uh, Gossy about it. Um, he was wearing, like, he had a lot of ink on him. He had, he had what, what, like, a Hama or something. Whatever. Th that's not the point. Dice asked some weirdos to deal with a problem a human problem i overheard something about like goods and i w wasn't sure what that meant they was like trying to get rid of the goods the goods are compromised and stuff like that i investigated i investigated night before and i found out the goods they were talking about that we were they were talking about it that they're not blood bags or some shit they're actual living human beings and They've been, they've been harvesting, they've been feeding off these people. It's like they're fucking hurt. It's fucking messed up and twisted. They're all stuck here in the warehouse. It's not great. Their living conditions aren't great. It basically looks like they're fucking human trafficking or whatever it is they call it these days. Slaves. It's shit. And of course, I told, of course, I, you know, I reported to the cops right away, so that. You know, it kind of throws them off, but instead, Dice asks these fuckers to, like, kill them all, get rid of the evidence, and I can't do it. I can't do it alone. There's going to be so much blood, and we have to find a way to get get the humans out of here. I, I don't know how. I just had to ask you. I couldn't ask anyone else. I don't know who else could get here in time. Everybody's too fucking busy with the fucking blood hunters. Actual human beings about to die now. There were so many of them. There were women, children. Like, you can see that she's... Stressed, her um, hands are shaking. Um, he clasps his hands on hers. The blunt hunt's over. Let's deal with this now. I, I um, don't know how to get. Breathe. I don't. She goes. Wait, shit. She pulls Fuck. her hands up. <laughs> she. she... Oh, you know, no, no, no. She kind of like. She's weirded out the fact that you reach out for her hands and she like. She pulls away. First of all, what the fuck? second I can't deal with that many humans it's just it's way too much for me like I've been trying to practice holding my breath for the longest time I've been trying to do it now because like the first time I almost lost it so um, I thought you could do it you know um, I'll I'll keep a lookout I'll I'll try to bias some time I I'm thinking uh, we try to bring them to the nearest police station. I think that's the safest route because I think they won't try to make a scene with the actual police. We, we can try to redirect them to the nearest. If, if there's a way we can carry them, try to get a car. I, I'll get the car started, something. No. Uh, and you, you just go ahead and try, try to get this many people there as possible I'll be on the lookout I just I just can't get too close there's just too many of them too many people with heartbeats too many people with like you can tell like she's tugging at her blazer for a bit I'm not taking a single breath while I'm here they're just too much understood well at least with me having a heartbeat it should be easier to sneak in Whatever, just be safe. Try to try to get there. And can you not be fucking obvious next time? God, you could have blown everything sky high. <sighs> All right. Uh, hold on. No. Okay, so I would like to ask, what does Samus do now? Because you're in a container van right now. 
from two blocks away, there's some movement. Can we see the movement at all? Oh. No, you're in the container van, so oh, I want to know what you're... We're inside the container van. Yep. Well, this, this makes it a little bit complicated. Can't see outside other than through the back. And, yeah. And you said we can hear movement two blocks from us. Yes. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just... Uh, so like do you do you move do you try to move out do you get out of the container van? Do you try to get closer? Do you try to do stealth? Uh you know. What does Samus do? How does he effectively approach this? <laughs> um one thing is this container van like one of those ones where you can um, look through like a front window. Um, no, it, it's nope. a it's a full metal thing. Full, full she metal. just pulled you in from from like a slightly open door. Yeah, it's enclosed. Um, Probably like a rusty red. Shit. Um, the the only thing we can really do is try and I can do is try and sneak out slowly without moving the door um and go and wrap around not go the same way I came through um okay but now I'm gonna have to keep ears out for much more movement than I thought okay so I'll have you roll first for another dexterity and stealth see if you can do the quick roundabout and a wits and awareness as you're oh, you can add um danger sense whichever as you know you're definitely in not a good spot like with the lowdown of what's happening this ain't great dexterity stealth okay that's uh that's not bad um wits awareness so... add hostility A oh. <laughs> mm. That one's still gonna be rough, but um, that's an okay. I think he's more focusing on his sneaking because he's got like he's still got a strong heartbeat now and everything, so Yeah, you're definitely you're very nervous. You can feel your nervousness actually. It's it's different now in this this new form of yours, like everything's just like you can feel the sweat, you can feel your heartbeat, like, you're, you're not in the best situations, but you managed to at least use the shadows casted by some of the um, container vents to move your way around towards the block. Um, the sounds you hear as you approach seems to be, um, like... The sounds have stopped in a sense. The initial sounds you heard was like almost as if like opening of metal doors, opening of um, like the way they open. Like like it sounds like old doors that are being opened, like container vans being opened. Uh, real quick. Uh, uh How close do you get? Because these are just all sounds right now. And so far, it has gotten quiet. Like, you notice that it it has gotten quiet. Um, he's trying to get as close as he can. Um, because the closer it, he is, his heartbeat uh, might be it as well noticed. Uh, being somewhere more further out, his heartbeat's more closer to to any of these captured people it should be hidden he's trying to keep track of that um, okay does he know um, different doorways in as he's trying as he's sneaking up okay I will just uh, with this space right here I'm gonna I'm gonna use the draw tool I'm not gonna draw as perfectly as I can but I uh, uh, yeah. God. So this is from whence you came. I will say this is 
the sorry for this course. This is the van that you got shimmied into. There's a couple more lined up. Just oi oi oi. No. Nope. God damn it. Let me draw properly. <laughs> Do you see it? Yeah. I draw. Draw my drawing it permanently. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, like in this, it just spans. <laughs> and the way you do the roundabout is like you came from here, you exited here. So instead of going like this, because this is where this is where the sounds are at. Oh, hello. Can I long press? Why won't you let me long press? Ah, uh, because you're probably still in the measuring tool. So this is where the noise is coming from. Okay. So that's two blocks. So it's back here. So you can declare that you've more or less moved from the entrance over from this is where Becca's at. So you've basically made your way over here. Yep. So how close do you get? Hmm. Like I'm figuring in this section, like he's keeping an eye out where the sounds are. Okay. Um Is there any like other doors like on any of these ones that he's um, right up against, or... Because I don't know if I... I see anything over here, if I'm looking in between. Wait, right. sorry, what? Can you repeat that? So I don't... I don't know if I... see anything... whilst I'm looking... From that... Uh, from the corner. No. No, it's still too far, it's like two blocks. But you do see the corner edge of like you know the sounds in that general direction. He's gonna sneak up along the side of this container here and try and peer around the corner. Oh wait, hold on. I'm I'm doing a quick note thing. So how close do you get? Let me let me make a me. Actually, let's go make a mini. Let's make a mini Samus, <laughs> so that you can move around. Oh my God! Why did they break again? No, tokens broke again. I, I'm in pain. Hold on. Copy. Okay, can you move the little sandwich and say how far you go? No, I cannot move it. What? He needs to pull it out himself to move it. Okay, can can you move it now? Yes. Okay. So he's on the outside corner here. Uh, I'm gonna try and move him up to, like. Okay. Just the corner, but like not all the way out where the token makes it. Mm -hmm. Like he's just um, back to the container, um, and looking and trying to peer around, trying to look. Yeah, you actually, as you get closer, you start to hear, like, like, harsh noises. There's, like, a bit of, like, almost soft whimpering from a child, like, <laughs> it's gonna be okay, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> like, you're hearing that soft, like, nervous energy from, like, a crowd from ahead of you. But the thing that catches your attention is, like, a soft, like, a whimper and a sound of a crying child. In his mind, he's just like, fuck, they've got children in this too. I mean, 
I think I did see that. There's women and children. Um, like from the voices you can hear, like it sounds like you know, like a crowded mall. There's definitely like a lot, and you can understand like the perspective of why she's very stressed of yeah. tr trying to get them out of there. However, as as you're listening into the sounds again. Uh, actually, uh, can a certain someone roll for dexterity stealth? Me? Just need to beat a four. No, not you. Oh. Do a quick dex stealth. Okay. Err. Uh. Hungy. <laughs> no, wait. Are you gonna re-roll uh, the two nights? No. <laughs> Are you gonna re-roll two nights? Oh my god. Okay, well, because of, you know, like, I'll just say because... Simon's is a bit on edge, like jumpy, like a, a cringer just grabbed you and squeezed your shoulder, and you actually still the lingering effects of uh, the dinged fingernails of a gang girl on your shoulder. Um, you actually do notice um, from behind you someone looking as if to grab you. You see a blur of like bright colors. Just a blur. And it disappears. Uh, wait, real, real quick. Uh, can uh, 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 just, uh, just need to confirm that. Wait, what, what did you use, though? What, what was the... What was the rouse check for? Sorry, I didn't get the check. Sorry, I am having a, a private con... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> well, you do spot somebody from behind you. Like, your senses are, like, on edge. Like, you feel like you're not safe, you're not safe, and all that. You're so wired that you actually notice the person behind you appear. I've seen this one before. Oh yeah, he was in the Sanctum. He was, uh, he was there with Gossie's, um, friends. The one who helped pull the wounded, uh, torpored elders into the wards. Standing there, or he's reaching out to me, isn't he? Actually, I want to ask, what is Rin doing in that situation? Um, uh, basically reaching out to Samo's shoulder and like pulling him a bit closer to the trailer. Or trying to. Does Samo sense hostility on this though? No. What, okay, can you describe what Rin looks like right now? What emotion is wearing on his face? Mm. Oh, what emotion? He's a bit relieved to see Samus. Oh. Okay. Uh, like it's, it's mostly a troubled face, but there's a bit of relief when seeing Samus. Uh -huh. yeah, but the man remains silent. Um, from... I, actually, I need Samus to roll a quick intelligence. See how well you remember this fella. I've only seen him. I didn't really hear him speak or anything like that, so... Well, for flavor, let's see how... Like, I'm gonna paint a picture, but I need to know your end first. I don't add anything to this, do I? No, just in. Nope. Nope, this is your memory curved. Oh, okay. 
Uh, that you shouldn't be three. Uh, take it the, should be. Uh, it should only be two. Okay. Um, Great. So I might, I might have hit wit. No, it says intelligence. What? What the hell did I add to it by accident? Okay. You either way, but that one intelligence. <laughs> Maybe you started to go get big brain. Anyway, <laughs> so, uh, just take the first two, so the three and nine. Okay, so for at least you, you only remember this one as the silent man, observing and the behind the scenes. There were about six men that were there. The one that tried to speak to you in the car as well. This man was also in the car, but this was the quiet one. They, they seemed to be following the big one who you vaguely recall was called like a scander but you never knew this man's name no. but his hair was definitely distinct out of everyone <laughs> like everybody had black hair brown hair blonde hair this one was like a bright cyan so the samus allow himself to be dragged by this fellow or like you can tell eh, there's relief he's he's like okay like there's the, the man's wearing like he's definitely got a lot on his mind, but he seems relieved to see you. You don't need to grab me. What are you doing in this area as well? Don't think that's important. But who else? If you are you here to get these people out? Are you gonna try and stop me? I'm gonna try to help you if you let me. Do I sense truth in his words? Um, insight. This is a wits and insight. Okay, um, there is definitely truth to his words. Like, and actually, yes, it's the full truth. Like, he he seems earnest. I shouldn't say seem, he is earnest. God damn it. <laughs> Language. Good old D&D &D terms of, it seems. <laughs> seems. God damn it. <laughs> gotta break it, gotta break it. Um... How do you suppose we get go about doing that? I can get you in, but I'm not sure how much I can help you once we're inside. Would Rin know where the others are right now? Okay, for Rin specifically, you only have, like, you know that they're Idi planned this is what is essentially an hour from now. You only have an hour to do what you need to do. Um, you are part of what is essentially the cleanup crew. You do have access to a truck in which to deal with the bodies. Um, the there are things in which uh, they're planning to burn this entire establishment. Yours. Um, there's explosives to be set up here, uh, but they're you're removing because like it's very suspicious to have an explosion and find like what is essentially 40, 50 bodies. <laughs> so what you guys are doing is um, like it's it's a very elaborate setup of having them dressed up as construction crew, removing the children, removing the women having them buried somewhere else. So that's what the truck is for. You do have access to a truck. To How many get rid of the feet in the truck. You it's... probably can't fit all forty in there. Um uh, yeah, about I mean if they all stand and they're sardines, yes. But knowing how panicked people are, they're not gonna do that. But you you know that the, the the clock is ticking. You don't like, 
Um, as far as you know, no one's caught on with you yet. You have brought the truck in. But... Because they're doing it swiftly. Because they're doing this life. exactly before uh, the sun rises. Do you know how to drive? I do not. I've never, never been taught how to drive. I think you're gonna have to take them and run. I'm not sure if there's another option. Or try to sneak out, but I'm not sure if that's gonna be possible with that many people. Hmm. I could try and make them run and then fend any, any enemies off that try to give chase. That's about the best I can do. Would I, would Rin have noticed the heartbeat? Oh yeah. I mean, that's the I... first thing you picked up on. That's how you you thought a, a stray mortal <laughs> wandered stray. about, and you tried to grab them. So you are aware that the heartbeat remains. I'm remain. not sure you're gonna be able to fend anybody off in your condition. Doesn't matter. I need to save these people. Even if I'm not like you anymore. Do you have help from anybody else? Someone with a van. I can take a few there. So if you can get me in, I'll figure a way out. Can I? Oh, uh, wait. How much is your. In that moment, uh, because from Samus's POV, you're, you're facing there from behind the, the container van. Samus sees basically Becca just drop down and look like she's. she's you can see her red eyes glowing like she's about to go aggro. You see, you see the claws. She sees the. You know, she's behind Rin right now. Rin actually picks up on somebody behind him. Um, you can call them back. Oh, sorry. Oh, baby. Yeah, go on. What were you doing? Just a little bit louder, just so back I can hear. Okay. He's on the outside. One of Gossie's people. Oh, I wouldn't trust the others, though. What's this? Okay, I'm just gonna move. I'm gonna move her. Move, move, move bitch, move. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. She says, I don't mean to swear it, but she says, Our side? Our side? This fucker's with them. She kind of glares at Rin. What is this? A change of heart? I'd say that was never a choice to begin with. And she could, you could see her, like, look warily at the side, knowing how close she gets. Look, I was... You were... I didn't know what was happening. Figured I'd look around and I saw a fucking kindred on your ass. I just... What's the fuck are you plan? There's so many humans here. There's a second van inside, but... He said he can't drive. Of course he doesn't. He fucking runs. Then <sighs> goes. I can drive, but we need a fucking big car, like a truck. I can I can drive them to the police station. I can try to fit them all in. I might be able to calm them for a moment at least. Why are you doing this? I'm a dead man walking anyways, so might as well do what I want to in the final moments. Do we have a name to the dead man walking? Oh, what'd he name his name? What'd he name his name? That's a good guess, good question. <laughs> Names, 
grinned. Right? <laughs> then she extends her hand. Becca. You're gonna die anyway, so... You know, you're not gonna say any my name. Fair point. She goes, right. Where's the truck? I can drive it. And if you guys can move... Like, she goes... How long before they get here? I I know I don't know exactly what they're gonna do with these people, but I know they're gonna clean them up. They're gonna probably yeah, chop them up. All supposed to be over in an hour, or so don't have much. All right, lead us to the truck, I guess. No, no funny business. I will rip your throat out and your face at the same time if you do anything. It's not so bad. She kind of like looks at Sam's like, let's deal with this guy. Kind of looks and then uh, they follow Rin. So the truck is actually parked in this area. So it's like an it's like an opening. So like here. Uh, Becca kind of as you guys start to move. She sees a glimpse of uh, a couple of open containers, and like there's also like steps below. So there's like a lower area. So there's like ground level. And there's a basement level of steps where there's other open container vans and just eyes of malnourished humans, different um, all shapes and sizes, male, female, uh, children old people all of them look like drained like they definitely do not look healthy at all and you see Becca immediately turn away as she follows Rin to the truck she gets in the truck and slams it shut like she doesn't dare go out so that leaves Rin to go back to the container vans. Does Samus stay with Becca or does he follow Rin? Um, so, um, Becca and Samus are outside, like, an area where there's all the malnourished people and stuff like that, or did they walk past that no. to the van? Well, they have a POV from here. I will just draw a little, little rectangle that is, I will, it will symbolize it as Cyan or uh, this one. Can I draw it? Hello. <laughs> I will draw it here. This is where truck is. So the the head of the truck is downwards. The butt is upwards. Like like this. <laughs> yeah. So head here. <laughs> back there. Um, can I just say the pe the people were in here? Yeah, so they're- this is like the ground level, so this entire area, so I'm just gonna remove the NPCs real quick. No, actually, I'm just gonna remove Becca. Bye, Becca. Oops. <laughs> so, um, just to paint the scene. It's just easier to draw it. So they have an entire ground area. This is like the first level. Then there's a lower level on the basement. So this container and the container down here on a basement level where there is like what is probably another four containers. So like from each pocket, there's probably about 15 people each per container van. So the first container is here. Then the th other three containers are on the basement level. Hmm. Um, Samus would try and get to like the first group of people he can. Okay. Um, so in this first batch, you see Rin basically go down to the basement area and try to get the others who aren't moving and you see a couple of them bulk but they see given your shitty look and they're like vulnerable self they're like confused it's like look, look. 
He's just like whispering. He's like, look, I'm here to get you down. I'm here to save you. I have some friends that are going to drive you to safety, to the police. And you see the kids are like looking like confused. The adults are wary. And with the kid, uh, he, one of the kids, he shows, with his... he shows the scar on his neck as well as his um, hit on his collar, collarbone, and stuff like that. It's like, look, I've, I've gone through a few of them. I can get you out. Like, and then you hear one of the children go. They keep poking needles at us, sir. We we don't like it, sir. I know. I know. I'm getting news out, so there's gonna be no more of the needles. The, we won't have any more needles or owies. Might get the occasional flu shot to help protect you, but that's about it. <laughs> but then you hear the nothing, like, nothing as bad as this, people. I can promise you what? that. How how can we believe you? We some of us tried to get out and. They were punished. They never. They never came back. W what if this is all just a trick? What if this is just a test? Hmm. I don't know how to make you believe me. But I'm one of the people who was trying to take them all down. I want them gone from this earth. <laughs> I am human. Yeah. I bleed. Just like you. They. I don't know what they've been doing to you. But my friends are here. Have informed me on what to do. To help get you out. It's only three of us here to get you all out. Okay, I need you now. So this is the, you did a speech, uh, charisma persuasion plus one modifier. You know, let's see, let's see how well you do. Hopefully, you're, it's enough to persuade them. Also, time check with all the talking you've been doing and all the conversations with uh, you guys have roughly forty minutes. Ooh, eh. Uh... The kids believe you. All forms of kids are like, "Yay, we're free!" The adults are just like, "No, no, we've. This is probably just a test. This is probably just a... you're just here to test us. We promise we'll be good. We'll we'll, we'll be quiet. We won't we won't make any um, noise." He still has like bite marks on his arm from the fight earlier that night, doesn't he? Yeah. Um. He unwraps the bandages that are on them. And it's like, look, I've been through what you have been through. They wince at they see the bite marks, and some of them tug at their clothes, some of them look away, some of them pale. But I have fought some of them. I have killed some of them. Whether you believe me or not, I want to try and save you before they kill everyone here. They don't respond. They actually kind of not look at you. It's almost as if... And well, one of them goes, he's he's probably just one of us trying to get more people to run with him. We're, we're going to die if we go with him. <laughs> but then he, as they say that, Rin, you see that they're definitely, like, it's their trauma that's keeping them from moving. You've been trying to get them to move since you got here. Like, please, you were the, you were the kid meme of, like, with the mom, like, please move, and it's just not moving. Definitely their trauma is keeping them here. Whatever. Well, like forget it. Um... Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so this is an end mass cloud memory. I will say I will need you to do... Three rouse checks. And then with those three rouse checks, just do two dice pull rolls. And you will need a collective 
just so you know what to hit. Do we, NS, to, do we need to rouse check even if Club Memory doesn't use a rouse check? No, just for this instance because it's N mass. Uh, okay, let's just do two. Let's just do uh, no three is too much. Let's just uh, three. We'll do three because it is N mass. Okay, yeah, you did fine. Okay, you only get hungry once. So you do a manual roll. Uh, you do it uh, twice. The the number you need to reach is ten for all fifty plus people to more or less get their collective trauma removed. Uh, you need ten sixes. So you will roll for dominate. So you roll manipulation and. Uh, wait, hold on. I gotta check this real quick. Because I know cloud memory is just like a passive, but we need to make this a roll. I mean, just a roll. It's a charisma dominate roll. Uh, charisma. Okay. We can do a charisma dominate, but I'll add. Because you're kind of like wiping off there with ability. I would say you can throw in your uh, persuasion, like just to make them forget. You can add your plus three to the modifier. Okay. And roll it twice. You need ten. So, good luck. Wait, what did? Oh, I don't. Oh, wait, it's just a roll check. What the fuck? Uh, I guess I. Yeah, just roll. So charisma persuasion and. Plus three, which is your persuasion. Ooh. Oh, 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 for ten successes, this is gonna be bad. Oh, okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's four. four. <laughs> he is. I'm hoping there's a crit somewhere in your second roll. Yes, <sighs> that makes it. No, that's no, that makes four. Ten. What do you mean ten? He got a crit. No, it's, it's a different roll, so it doesn't. Count. No, it's two separate rolls. No. Uh, so... No, I can still re-roll. I believe. No, it's the oh, ones. <laughs> I only get to eight. Okay, I will say, because it's close to ten successes. Um, what do you actually put in, like, as you're wiping all of their memories? Are you like going for like a full, like, factory reset, or like? How much of the cloud memory are you doing? Because you're exerting a lot of it. Uh, I'm gonna let them basically forget this thing, but replace it with like a sort of camping trip that went south. And then they got stuck down here. Okay. You... You... Uh, like, how does, how does Rin do this? Like, does he narrate it? Does he say it? Does he... Um... Like I want to see, like I want to know, like how does Rin go about his dominate? Does he does like Jedi mind he tricks? He does like the detective thing where he has like his notebook and lists of what happened, but like lists of the thing that he wants to put in their minds. Okay. So do you verbally say it? Yeah, he verbally says it. Okay. So as you you put out your notepad, start to go through the details, like they all listen to you. Some of them are in a trance, majority of them. I will say that the children are confused. The majority of the adults just nod, as if you're like an authority figure giving them the notes of what's transpiring. Okay, yeah, sure, makes sense. Um. And the kids are like, what camping trip? What? Huh? Like, they're, they're just confused. Uh, with that, they all seem to be in a daze now. But they kind of see Rin as like this 
authoritative figure now. The kids are nervous, and there are some adults who are just like, oh, what are you doing? What, what are you doing with them? Well, we're gonna go to the police station so we can figure this all out. And get you guys home safely. And then, some of them start to move. Like in a trance. The kids are like, looking terrified now that some adults are moving. Some adults are like, this is wrong, man. You're fucking messing with their heads. What do you do to them? What do you do to them? Like, they're starting to panic now. I would say it's about six adults and all of the children, which is about... Okay. We're gonna do the math. Uh, what is 20% of... 20% of 48? <laughs> Okay, so about six. Uh, twenty percent, forty-eight. Okay, that's nine point six. Okay, so there's about nine kids that are very terrified, and about three adults that are just questioning everything. Does I right? So these are like the underground people, right? The ones in the base, because like you can see, like majority of them are starting to move in droves. Uh, does Samus give any instructions? I mean, actually, does Rin give any instructions to the, head to the police station? No, Do you make a van upstairs? Get inside so we can gonna get there quickly. So as you start to see like the hordes start to move almost in a trance. Um, the the three adults are like. This this ain't right. This this freaky shit. What did you do to them? They're just all starting to and then the kids are like still standing and then they're looking at Sam. It's like huh. uh, do we do we go with them? Do we go with the zombies? These cages aren't locked, are they? Or are they locked? Um I say where Rin would have unlocked them by now. Yeah, Rin oh, okay. unlocked all of them. Because they were all like you can see like the fences and all that, they're all starting to move up. It's just they weren't moving out of trauma <laughs> essentially like some, definitely what they've been through they have been trained to stay in place look my yeah. friend is much more persuasive than i am i want you i want you all to believe oh and actually would i have gotten plus two because i'm pretty on all of this <laughs> no, but, like yeah. Definitely. <laughs> no, I, def I have to. I have the benefit that I'm dazzling, which gives me plus two on interactions with mortals. Yeah. Um, charisma. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, so, I forgot about it too. <laughs> so, no. So, like the the ones that are in the trance are no question. Like they see you as an authority figure, a pretty one at that. Um, the women were definitely like lighting up. Like <laughs> some of them, at, at at the at the first. Like group, they're all like, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir, of course, sir. But the three adults and the nine children, they're kind of like confused and like twitching, or they're standing. I will say that they're all in the same area where Samus is. Yeah, I'll just move you here. Um, with kids asking the questions, like, you've ever heard of heroes, right? Yeah. Well, that's what we are. I have been called Hercules um, by people. You don't look like Hercules. He has orange hair. Yeah. And he <laughs> wears a skirt. Yeah. Well. You don't. Well, like, he has blue eyes, though. Yeah. But he looks skinny, though. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> like comparing you to the Disney guy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. But Hercules started off skinny, didn't he? He never started as the strong hero. He always started weak, yeah. didn't he? Looked scrawny. Looked down upon. I want you to look up yeah. to me. I want you to know that you are safe. And then you see here the three like, stop feeding shit, stop feeding lies into the kids, man. If this is your way to get us all killed, and then just they look at 
Rin apprehensively. It's like, look, look, we we want no trouble. If 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 we do this, you won't kill the kids. You you won't try to kill us. No. If anyone tries no. to harm any of us, I'll be the first. You just to need to get out back. of here. The three are very apprehensive still, and the kids are like, um, they're like looking. So, do you get do you get to fight like the the, the three headed snake? Yeah. Do you do you fight a three headed snake? Did you did you fight did you fight an, a, the elephant? And then, it's not an elephant. It's a minotaur. <laughs> then you see the kids start to bicker, but. I have fought something that was close to a minute ago. Ooh, they all collectively go. Ooh. Like, and then the other ones. That's Cap. <laughs> Show this thing is a minotaur. Hmm. I'm not sure. But it was as big as one. That... <laughs> if, if you're Hercules, what does that make him? They all point at Rin. I know that. He has blue. I do know that Rin is like Pegasus. pretty, right? Yeah. He, he he's the pretty Pegasus. <laughs> he's a horsey. I don't see any wings. Yeah, they all collectively. But he's pretty though. He has the hair. Look at the, look at the blue hair. Yeah, it's all time to point at his hair. Like oh, they they're, they're like just mesmerized. Could a horse turn into a person? What did make him a? Anything Does that make him a centaur? Does that make you a centaur, sir? <laughs> I bet I could be one if I try hard enough. Okay. And then, then these, they seem to be like, you, you realize, like, these are just kids. Like, the the way that, um, you know, they're just easily tickled with stories and fairy tales. It's horrifying to think how long they've been in this situation. Look, if we get out of here, I can tell you more stories of what I've done. Yeah. Like, it goes, yeah, yeah, more stories, more stories. Like, we want to know how you got those. Like, like you want to know how you found, fought the, the elephant. It's like, it's, it's not an <laughs> elephant. Like, you, you start to see the kids start to bicker. Um, oh, come on, run along there so then, we can get you out of here. Follow, follow the Pegasus. They all start to follow Rin. And they're like, they one of them tries to reach out to touch the hair, but they're really small. <laughs> like, like. We're just like gonna crouch down a little while walking when they try to touch it. Oh, and then they, they, and then they, they kind of back off a little bit and then they reach out again. It's like, oh, I touched Pegasus' hair. And then like, they're just, just so tickled with everything. They're. It disappears off their mind that they have been trapped in what looks to be like a deten like the worst of detention centers, massed ass warehouses, and now they're freed and they're all getting into the truck, one by one. Uh, it's starting to get a bit cramped though, uh, as the adults start to go in. You realize as that it's starting to uh, fill up. There's still about a dozen outside with the three adults. It's like, we're not all gonna fucking fit. There's too many of us. We're gonna die. You're gonna have to drive, buddy. And Rin goes and grabs the other van. Fuck. All right. Then, then the kids are like, oh, we get to go in the van, we get to go in the van, well, do we get a separate car? Yeah, we gotta get a separate car, woo! And then they're so excited. Um, Rin does come back with a van, so there is a truck load of 36 people and the remaining, um, the remaining numbers. The kids all happily go in. Um, is it a suspicious white van? <laughs> I just want to <laughs> ask. God damn it. Rin. Rin. Depends on what Becca brought. I would grab the van that Becca arrived in. Oh, uh, Becca's well, more... Was there a separate van there? Um... That the Camarilla oh. had there? Who's gonna tell Becca that they're gonna use her fucking van? Oh, I'm not. 
Okay. Put scene back. It's like, what? Do you even. You just said you didn't know how to fucking drive, and you want me to give you your, my fucking keys to my fucking van? You can drive yours if you want. Yeah. No. You can't even drive, and I'm not gonna put. I'm not gonna put 36 um, humans in the hands of, one of the other fucking three. idiot. Um, adults. Do either of you know how to drive? Uh, one of them shakily raises his hand. Truck driver. You think you can Better than this someone one? that doesn't know how to drive? Because if I drive, it's gonna be dangerous because I can't drive. Like, and, and you're supposed to be the goddamn hero trying to take us out, you can't even- <sighs> I'm the one who breaks things and breaks the enemy. Drake could carry one of you out, but that's not enough. Exactly. <laughs> and then you just see like the hesitation from the human who relents. Becca's like, wait. And then like, she looks nervous as she sees kids getting into her... We didn't agree... Becca, you can I... you, you drive your car. You can drive this one. Can you keep an eye on the, the guy at least? Lead him to the I will, police I will. station. Yeah. And then she looks at her... And... You coming with us or what? They would chase after you if I did, so I'm staying. All right. And then she starts getting out of this alive, anyways. So I'm assuming the rest of your group is a part of this. Oh, we were asked to get rid of them. All right. It is. Then you see Becca just looking at Rin for a moment and goes, "If things were any different." Thanks. Just go before. You're doing that right. Right. She gets in her car. It is a red van. It is a red van. And she just like, and you see her like she's annoyed immediately at the kids like, yeah, kiddies, hey. And the theme together. What are you? Are you one of those? Shut up. <laughs> Zip it. Zip. No talking. No one talks. Zip it. It's like. I think she's. We're just gonna it. knock on Becca's window really quick. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, wait, sorry. <laughs> what? Tell Carmine I'm sorry we didn't meet earlier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then she kind of like, zzz, like she pulls up the thing. Sure. Dead man's wish. <laughs> And then she slowly lifts the window like awkwardly and then the kids are quiet and then one of them goes I think that's the woman that ends up with Shh. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> She's very angry. And then you guys start to drive now yep. Drive off Um, where does Sama sit? Do you go stay at the back of the truck or do you ride at the front? I need to establish where you're um, at If he has access to being at the back, um, or like he can move about within the truck as well as be near the front. Um, yep. There's, it's either you sit up front or you sit, or you stay at the back with the others, like dangling off. Um, mate, you're gonna need to head to the police station, and follow that car. If anything tries to come up behind us. And attack us, then I'm gonna be there to fight him back. Alright, so you stay at the back. Mm -hmm. The truck tries to drive off, the van gets to drive off. The last thing Samus sees is Rin standing in this warehouse as you guys start to peel out. What is on Rin's expression as they drive off? Mm, you would definitely look a little sad. Like, like more like not, I guess more like happy that they got them out of there, but there's a tinge of sadness. No, that look... that's probably the last thing he's gonna do. 
the last thing you I mean, do you look at the truck? Because I guess time is kind of at the back with the others. Like, kind of yeah, almost. He's going to look at it for like. Until they are almost out of view before he turns. Yeah. And Samus sees the lasting image of the man as they turn away. Get into the streets. And you guys go to the farther, like, the farther outskirts, not in downtown at least. You go to the bigger uh, headquarters of um, the cops in New Orleans. So it's like somewhere further down south. Past mid city, probably uptown. And we'll end the scene there. We'll we'll do a quick thing later on, but we'll move to the next scene. Alright. We will have now the second scene in which Nair, are you ready? I mean as Cairo ready as we shift the scene now for the POV uh, of Cairo to paint us a picture of what happened. You mean hours before this? Apart? <laughs> yeah, more and more, more or less. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose so. Go on. Oh. Uh. Uh. We finally made it back from. Where was it again? The Tremere area. Uh, Tremere. Yeah. Yeah, we came back from the Tremere, headed towards the Gentilly Hotel. It was one of the big, big pictures inside uh, Yelly's uh, diagram. Is that what she called it? And so, I mean, we did pass by. I mean, I passed by for a bit of a meal before getting there. Uh, it was a bit messy, but uh, time was off the essence. And uh, when we arrived, uh, it was like we walked right into their trap, which unfortunately I couldn't see. Uh, the uh, owl came in afterwards, but uh, it seemed uh, more violent than usual. He he went for. Uh, I watched him go for. Uh, what was her name again? Waylin. Mm. It's hard to get all these names right. <laughs> Must be an age thing. <laughs> Wayla? And, well, anyways, whatever her name is. He did rip her up. I'm a little proud watching that happen. And fortunately, it did reset whatever scene we want ourselves stuck in. And Ed, <laughs> <laughs> my brain. It's okay. Pet, pet. It's okay. I don't want to read the paragraphs, then, Ma. No, you don't have to. You don't have to. Just uh, let's go through uh Cairo's feelings at the tail end of the situation. Ah, well, we were fucked. We said, I have to go find another way in. Mm. Ah, that was so pretty interesting how that one just blew up out of nowhere. Yes. Uh, the owl did react, so that must be a good thing. Ah, uh, yes. Speaking of uh, the owl, I wonder mm -hmm. if he'll notice when he wakes up or if this beast would let him know. Uh, it'd be quite troublesome if they do realize it. Um, shit, yeah. where'd they go? Great. We'll trail off there. Where did they go? That's a good question. Uh, we'll go first to... For, for lack of a better scene, hold on. I'm just gonna make that entire paragraph into um into, into a, a I'll just add gigantic paragraph into the learning curve. 
just because I wrote it have anything to do with it. Oh, sure, sure, sure. You, you, you spent a really good time with it. Good job. What? Oh, I... oh my god. The drawing's still there. Uh, hold on. Just to let you know, I, was, I, was, I just needed a black screen. This, this is what happened. <laughs> Throwback. Um, <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, oh, look at all the times. Look, there's a black cat. And now it's gone. <laughs> Good times are gone. No kidding. Um, Good old rave in the grave. <laughs> you're not here yet. Good night. Ruby just said good night. I will start using an inside castle voice from here on out. Okay. So, the best way I can explain as you guys step into the door is that you, there is no ceiling, there is no floor, but you are walking forward. You do not see Waylay anywhere. Or you do not see the black haired red eye. I, woman anywhere from whence you entered how do you guys stop right away or do you continue to run i ask both uh, i will say that all oleander kind of trails behind because he was the last one to go in because the first one that instinctively get, went in was griffin well i think griffin would wait for a little moment turning to Oli. Uh, and hand him a vial of his blood. Oh. Oli, do you take it? Is Mitch there? Hello? Uh, he'd be um, like, oh, oh, what's this? This is a bit of my blood. In case we get into a fight, drink it. We need to get out of here whatever way possible. Take every little chance we can. Uh, oh, cool. Okay. okay. I thought it was like a little snack or something. Well, I guess you can think of it like that. It will make you more durable. Cool. Thanks. I, sorry, I don't really have anything like this prepared right now. Cool. Don't worry about it. We should move. Yeah, you said yeah. it. I, I will poke someone in this chat. Hello. I sent message. Yes. There's a disembodied voice in the area as you guys speak. Cute. Oh, whatever way possible. It echoes throughout the darkness. Can I? Can both of you roll for wits and awareness? Sure. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah. I will take the floor. Okay. All right. Um, you... You were the one who picks up on it. Oleander does it. Um, from behind Oleander, this black space, is the woman. Ollie's still gaping at the vial. The woman is actually staring right at Griffin in particular, as he was the one who spoke. Yes, whatever way possible, what's it to you? Amusement. 
in her face as no wait hold on hey. <laughs> yep yep oh wait <laughs> Okay, there you go. Click notes. Okay, click notes. Well, you followed me. There's someone here I need to get back. Oh, which one? Oh, you're the one that hangs out with the singer. Does Ollie notice that Griffin's basically just talking to something that is in him? Yeah, funny enough, yeah. Griffin's talking to air. <laughs> Ollie, like, pipes up like, Who are you talking to? The girl from earlier? Where? Right behind you, and Griffin would point at her. <laughs> <laughs> He like twirls around the door. Uh, I start to look around. You really don't see anything. It's starting to give like some sort of a paranoia with you. Oh uh, crap! It's like oh shit! Like what? What? What do you mean? Uh, there's a small little chuckle that Griffin would hear, and <laughs> in this moment. I'm gonna actually have Wayla do something really fun. Her hands start to move towards Oleander. How? Actually, I want to ask is she, How tall did you make Wayla? <laughs> it's like what the hell? Why is she? Wayla is like. Is she small? Goth, is she... Uh, Wayla is like goth yelly. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is so funny. <laughs> okay. I would say, <laughs> he tries to reach out. It's good. Because all of you going to be too tall. <laughs> 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 I'm just imagining it. I was like, nah, nah. It is, it is. <laughs> okay. In this moment, her eyes just flick towards where Ollie is. Um, I'll just do a quick rose check. Da, 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 da. Okay, she hungry. Da, 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 da. Mm. Oh god, this is so scary. Can he do a um oh no, he can't see this. He can't see this. Okay, I'll give Ishii the, the floor to describe this in detail. This is a so. Um, how does Wayla deal with Ollie in this scenario? Mm. Like Griffin's the only one who would see this, and Ollie's just like, "What? What does it like in that moment?" Like Ollie's looking here? around. You can, but uh, I just want to see here first what Ishi is planning before, uh, so we know what exactly is happening. Ollie's looking around, right? And Wayla is just chuckling at him. Mm -hmm. And uh, Wayla is kind of gonna like just uh, shift around Ollie. And at one point, when he. Uh, when he like pause for a bit, Dwayla is gonna go like. What if I ask you to leave your friend? And at that point, her hair tie is gonna go loose, and a few of the snakes is gonna like. Uh, try and take a bite at Ollie. Okay, all right. So, um, Griffin, what do you do in that situation? Because you're the only one who can see it, unfortunately. I'm sorry, you can't I'm gonna see do a this. Rose for a second, okay. and I'm just going to tank the blow while activating Flash of Marble. 
Oh, shit. Nice. Okay, so you actually jump in between the bite, and as that happens, can you can you pop up the flesh marble thing? So I know uh, how much. Oh, how uh, much. Yeah, this is flesh of marble. Uh, with this power active, ignores the first source of each turn, including fire, but not sunlight. Oh, about which source is first? Either it says based on narrative or ignores the most enemy. Oh, that is nice. Okay, yes. Um, in this moment, as like all you just see is some Griffin just jump out of nowhere where you were, where you're standing. Uh, assuming it's your arm or your entire body, how are you blocking this this snake? I'm gonna block it with my whole body because this affects my whole body. Okay. So you block and the fangs bite. Well, I would be in surprise as. Oh. My whole body is basically also has a marble sheen to it now. Ooh, okay. So this is the first source of physical damage each turn. Okay, that's nice. So with that, um, Waylay is a muse. She's, she's even more eager to play with her new toys in her playroom. Oleander like looks at Griffin jumping in front of him like, what? What is it? Is it fight time? As he prepares a vial. I'm not sure if it's fight time. But someone seems to want to keep us here. Well, at least <laughs> one of us. It sounds like fight time, he says as he downs the vial that Griffin gave him. Oh, oh what, what's the effect of vial? Yeah, it's a blood vial. Okay, but what does it give Ollie? Two pot dots of fortitude. Nice. Okay. Good, good. Um, it, it feels like you just drank Red Bull on steroids. <laughs> That's what Ollie feels like. Everything burns. You're on fire. You're pumped. It's great. It's like you just drank fire and Red Bull. Fiery Red Bull. Spicy well, Like Red I Bull. said before, the master oh. doesn't want you there, so I'll keep you here. I might have something that is interesting to her, though. That's what the big cat said. I don't know what the big cat said. But I'm sure it's something different. And what would that be? Me. <laughs> and why would the master want you? I'm sure she would be interested to find out that not just you guys can get a demon. A pause. Almost as if contemplating. Smiling. But her smile grows even wider as from her face alone you know that she's not letting you anywhere near her master. This, you know, this pitch probably needs to be heard by the master, not from this follower of sorts. It's oh, and I guess Griffin would attack her if she looks like she has no intention of letting us pass. Okay. At that moment, uh, da, 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 she will... I gotta do a rouse check. She hungry. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Don't let her get hungry. Uh, she will use this. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, God. Um, I need both of you to 
roll me a dexterity athletics as you are you feel like a force that pushes you back 10 feet okay does uh, oh wait, does not activate with this uh you you no zoomies is more for speed not like dodging an effect i see okay okay i don't think i have anything that's helpful for this as well Wait, did the music die? Can someone confirm if the music's still playing? Yeah, it's off right now. Music is oh. dead. No! How dare you! Uh, cool, let's spend the first... Mm -hmm. Do I want to spend willpower on this? Nah, I'm fine with push back a little. Okay. That's <sighs> better. Okay. She just, you just basically feel like a barrier just pushing you guys back. Uh, I just, uh, four physical ability. I oh, know, not this one. Eh, I'm trying to show the ability. Eh, no, I mean, I think you guys saw it already. It's a neutral guard, but as more or less, there's like this almost like this wavy ward around her as she stands where she is with an amused grin the master not... has all she needs and as she steps away you see a portal from behind her start to rip showing a glimpse of a different scene Back at the portal that was tinged in yellow from that viewpoint. I actually want to ask the blood for moss as um, Yogi and you are still in the room <laughs> with, uh, with Seal. A very pissed Seal. What is Seal doing? Uh, she's. You see her turn, and she's moving. Like you see her start to move hands, like you know, like the one in Doctor Strange. And you hear like this, this like warping sound, like like she's so angry with her melted face. She's not smiling anymore. She's not talking. She's just doing nonverbal. And then Yelly's like, "I think we should go. I think we should go wherever you are, person. Um, hello." <laughs> she goes, "We need to go. We need to go. We need to go." <laughs> and then she's she's darts at the nearest door opens it and just bolts like person person and then she grabs she scoops whatever blood form is on her hand she starts running she's like okay we're running we're running <laughs> um yeah the blood is gonna pull towards um yelly and it's just gonna like try and get into her clothes okay as you're starting to form it, like Yelly's feeling the weight of the blood on her hands. Like, oh my God, my God. She she's running in the hallway as as she stops for a moment and uh she lowers down the weight of the blood. It's like, oh my god, my hands are stained. Oh my god. This has come off. This has come off. Please, please don't melt my hands. Please, I'm here. I'm friendly. I uh parley. She starts saying that. Um uh, in panic. As she says that. Um, she, she, I have to actually swap from seal to yelly real quick. There you go. Hello. She looks at the hallway and you immediately see like this zooming, like, and like the hallway gets longer. Like you hear this ta -ta 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 sound of like, and then like this warping sound of like, as it starts to go into like this pinpoint area. It's like, this bed, this bed, um, I, I, and she, like you can see, like she's stumped at this, and and as moth starts to form, I, are you forming in front of her? Um, where are oh. we? You guys are in the hallway of like leaving the lo the lounge area. Is uh, the door because... still open behind us? Yes, where where Seal is, her eyes fixed on both of you. Where is her... Seal coming from? Uh, on both ends, the warping sound like it's like as if when the area was stretching, it was making that sound like like 
it's freaky. Like this is this is like reality bending. Uh, he was, um, uh, uh, she goes, exits, exits, what, what exit can you find? Doors, doors, doors don't work. Um, uh, this is, uh, this is Tremere. Um, I don't know what Moth, Tremere is doing. Moth is gonna form behind oh. Yelly, but... There's still blood splatter around at the room that they left. So Moth is gonna be around like four inches shorter. <laughs> and Moth is gonna close the door behind him. Oh my god, you're in the same height as you like, oh my god, twins. <laughs> oh my god. And then she closes the door. Says, and you see the long hallway now. And she goes, um, this is where I am. It, I, yes, it's very obvious that they know magic. Tremere's are blood sorcerers. I didn't think they'd take the sorcerers too seriously. She right. starts to... help me. Help me find a room. I need to find a room full of blood. And just uh, Moth is just gonna start running on the opposite side, uh, away from Lucille. Um, she goes. Hold on, hold on. She goes. Magic, magic. Uh. You, you're looking for blood? I don't think we can find blood in this- As, as she's saying that, the door opens, and immediately you are greeted with a smell of, like, death and rot. You remember the smell. You were there, down there, when you saw the many bodies hanging. It I'm hits like, you. Never mind, she's bringing us there. And she goes, If she's bringing us there, isn't that a bad idea? Aren't, like, aren't you, weren't you, um, some sort of, like, I don't want to be part of the, oh god, they're hanging bodies, oh god, and then you start to see, like, the elongated area start to twist, and you can feel, like, the carpet tightening, almost as if it's, like, it's, like, you know, the painting when it's, uh, starting to twist and marvelous, like, it's paper, and it's actually making it small as the tiniest point in the area. It's like, okay, okay, we're, we're magic, we're magic. And she's like, she rushes in. It's like, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. It's the same as the bad idea when I told when I told my friend Cairo, I mean, um, Cheshi, to to attack her. I oh god, I didn't know. I didn't know she was this kind of uh sorcery. Uh, then she goes in there and she's just rambling off as you guys both go in the door is closed behind you she jumps and she goes huh, okay um relax, relax relax are we in the blood room now yes you are both in the blood room do you know magic yes but not that kind of magic you can censor magic um <laughs> Again, I don't know her. I need to know her magic first. Knowledge is power. Do you know what she's doing? Do you know what kind of is it a Hecata magic? Is it Lissandra? I think like I'm trying to sense Tremere stuff, but uh, I didn't listen to history class. I don't like. like I don't Jesus. understand it, but she wants blood. And um, Moth mm -hmm. is going to climb one of the hanging bodies. And okay. how much from touching this body, how much flesh and bone and blood is it still in this body? It is it is a corpse. So um it's almost like cadaver like. This like, one has is been it fully dried. Yeah. I, I'm the, I'm going straight to Mara actually. Uh, yeah, this one as far as you can tell, there, there's still blood dripping out of this form. Is it actually Mara? You can do a quick... In, uh, this is an intelligence investigation check. You can actually add the amount of discipline you have for, um, you know... Visitude? That is, yes. Visitude. The intelligence... Sword. Investigation. Yeah. Investigation. Okay, okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> is it is it good? Sorry. Uh oh, wait. No, wait, it's wait. bad. I that's two success. Uh, oh you're hungry. <laughs> I am hungry. And I can't I can't willpower anymore. Oh shit. As far as like looks like her, seems like her, but it's too easy for it to be her, you know, her lifeless eyes as it stares at you. The thing that bothers you is that, like, she seems to be in torpor, this one at least, because you know that if it's a dead vampire, they would turn to ash. This one's being drained. There's something not right about this bot, this, this, this one being not dead dead. As far as you can tell, it's her. It reeks of her, it smells of her. Moth kind of squints and just like, there's a look in their eyes that just goes, fuck it. And bites into the corpse and tries to drink it. Ooh. It starts to drain it. And this is where it gets interesting. As you start to drain it. It doesn't, like, it's, you can taste the initial flow of blood is like, yeah, this is her, like, fuck this. And then it starts to taste different. Can I have you roll another intelligence and investigation? And add Jimmy C on it. The Jimmy C ability. Discipline. Because I can't pronounce the word. <laughs> That's a four. That. Well, that bitch is a true blue Jimmy C, as you realize. I mean, you've popped off arms before, replaced it with different arms. As you start to continue to drain, there's the essence of her that starts to disappear and taste more mortal. <laughs> and how much hunger do I go through as if I drain, drain this? If you're draining this fully, it drops to zero. Perfect. And then, like, Moth kind of releases the corpse after, like, drinking for a while. Yeah, it's, it's dry husk. Like, kind of just looks at Yelly and then looks up to wherever they are. Out to just, like, into the air and goes, Your ritual is bound to fail! And she goes, Um, yeah, uh, and she goes, wait, hold on. And then she starts, you hear her start to mutter. It, it sounds like hissing. It's like basically the version of parcel tongue, but much cooler. She starts to, and then you see her eyes start to open. And it turns into this like slit of black irises and like gold sclera. And then she, Okay, don't look at my eyes. I'm just looking for something specific. <laughs> she goes, looking, looking, and then just don't look. Okay, if you look at me, you're gonna, you're, you're, you're basically gonna be stunned or like petrified. Uh, okay, okay, don't, don't yeah, look. Yeah, mom is not gonna look at her. It's good. As you yell that, you start to hear the familiar warping sound, like that as the area has like this violent shake as if like an earthquake just happened in one second like bang and <laughs> everything shakes i think she's pissed i think she's pissed i think she's pissed i told you i could get another chimizi i told you i could get more chimizi blood but you wouldn't believe me you didn't get her you didn't fucking get her and then she goes i i don't think i don't think I don't think she really wanted to get this person. I'm just saying, you know, um, she's 
very smart that way, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, like, okay, I'll try not to analyze too much. I'm trying, I'm trying to find a portal, a pathway, something, something. And then she looks and she looks forward and she goes, right there, right there. I see something glowing. I don't understand what it is. It looks like, it looks like a door. It could be shady. That's, but, and then what she's pointing at, it is just, um, like a wall. Like, it would oh, really wow. make it easier if I just knew what her magic was. I can't just say blood sorcery. There's a lot of different sub, sub things, subsections. <sighs> wait, wait. Um, in the conversations, um, did she specifically say what kind of magic she had? If, uh, she was in any part of the sex other than Sabad, obviously, you know, did she say anything? Did she? Do an intelligence. <laughs> Do an intelligence roll. Da -da -da. Roll for what you recall. Oh my gosh. Part of any sex. 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 Guys, guys, my words. Sex. Um. As far as you know, she takes pride in being the first of many Tremere's. The first Tremere. Old one. That's it. Really, really old one. She said she's one of the first. One of the first. One of the first. One of... Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. We're, we're dealing with Arcana. Which Arcana? There's 12 of them. Oh my god. Wait. My brain. It can't. As she's starting to mumble, you actually notice one of the hooks starting to go down on Yelly as she is just wandering about it's like um <laughs> guys guys <laughs> can I jump down and grab Yelly to like just move her uh like get out of the way yeah sure um Dexterity athletics to push her out. Not push, like pull her. Strength. <laughs> athletic strength or I mean I don't strength, have... strength, strength athletics, yes. I don't have dice in those center. There you go. Oh my god. Technically a hundred percent. Oh no! Okay, so with this one dice, you try to pull her out of the way, but she still gets hooked. She lets out this like comical scream as she gets pulled up, and you see her thrashing in the many bodies. All of them starting to like almost get pulled around her and start to get squished and she just says just go through the wall just go through the wall think of a what was that movie and then she's getting squished with the bodies platform nine and three quarters platform nine and three quarters or something go go and she started screaming like she's she's in like you're hearing the squishing of bodies pressing against her <laughs> what does moth do How far is she from me? Uh, she got yoinked up about 20 feet in the air. Mom is gonna try oh, something. Yeah. There's blood on the floor, right? Oh yeah, there's blood everywhere, flesh everywhere. Mom is gonna try and control the blood on the floor. Ooh. Okay, go on. And try and push uh, themselves towards Yelly. Oh, like a platform? Yeah. Okay. You will need to do a rouse check and blood blood form, I believe. Um. Actually, mm, I don't know if this will be my. Let's 
Yeah, let's do stupid shit. Moth is gonna Moth. go into blood form and then as much as as much as possible blood that they could control that they're touching while they're in their blood form, they're just gonna like try and get more control of more blood. Okay. That's gonna require a lot of successes, but uh make your rouse check, please. Rouse check. Hungry. Hungry. And then I'm gonna put um blood surge on this. I'm gonna put three dice. Mm -hmm. Damn. That's a lot of low numbers. Do you want a willpower? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bring willpower. Wait, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, no willpower. Okay, with five. I still have one more. One more. Without oh. going. I, I still have two more, technically. There we go. Alright, because you acted on deceitful earlier. So. I mean, deceitful in the last run. Oh, do I get another one? Yeah. Oh, you know what? If I get another one, I'll use it. Okay. Do you need him? This is so intense. One. Okay, six. Well, six it's it, it's enough for to make a platform that pushes you twenty feet. Where um, it looks like the cadavers are like making like this cocoon around, like all squishing around. Yelly, it's like, you know, I've always wanted to experience an orgy, but not like this. <laughs> she goes, oh my god, please. Um, Moth is currently in blood form right now. So what happens is that. They meld into the blood that was on the floor, and as much as possible, they're gonna take as much blood as with them as they're catapulted towards them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, wait, you're catapulting to where Yelly is? Yeah. Like Kawabunga. <laughs> Kawabunga, baby! So you're grabbing a wave of blood. That's going towards Yelly. I'm not grabbing Yelly, I have blood right now. Okay, so you attach yourself to this like cadaver like cocoon. And by the way, to people, I'm sorry for the visuals at at night where it's like a huge, like a cadaver cocoon wrapped around a person and they're just a blood, a blood form. Flashing the... yep. Sorry for the visuals, <laughs> but you get there. You start to wrap around the body, and you actually see the cadaver squishing into um, the small one from within, suffocating them. And, like, thankfully they're kindred, but there's only so much restraint they can do with all the squishing of these multiple bodies. What do you do as you're attaching yourself now to this cadaver cocoon? I'm gonna... Melt the flesh, every flesh that I'm touching, I'm just gonna melt it again and again and again. Oh, but avoid okay. Yelly. All right. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, where am I hearing that? Where am I, where am I hearing that? Stop. <laughs> Anyways, you can, you can make your uh, flesh craft roll as you try to melt the cocoon into wax. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Okay. I believe. But it wasn't quite me. It wasn't quite you. There you go. Okay. Um, it's it, there's like blobs of. Uh, fatty tissues, lipids, all splashing down on the ground, muscle mass, um, all of them just melting to this disgusting pool underneath. 
until like it's just yelling out pushing through it she's covered in this waxy mesh of flesh and it's like when yes. flesh gets uh when like meat gets grinded uh, gets blended yeah and then the fats and everything it just like starts to go down and it's like ew 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 like but she's still hooked and then you see her like make a kick in the hook and then she, um starts like or what do you look like you still look like a like a bloody moth or something I'm still- there's oh. just blood everywhere. But yeah, look, this is just a fever dream. Okay. Um, she's Mom just, is just, like, sentient she, blood right now. She kicks repeatedly at the hook and just basically jumps to what is essentially a bloody platform towards you. Uh, and then, like, she goes on a- like, you know, she basically wraps her arms and legs around you like a claw as a way to balance. Ew, 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 don't do that again. Don't do that again. Please don't. I'm, 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 this is, this, this is why, this is why I don't have Jimmy's friends. They're just too weird. They're just too weird. I'm so sorry, but y'all are weird. I don't like this. I, I don't like this at all. I, I, I want to make goes back to being moth. Which is like, I think it's gonna drop them back on the floor and then. While Moth is like lying down on the pool of blood, Moth is just gonna go like the wall. Oh, platform nine and three quarters. We run right into it. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. All right. We're gonna find a way out. It's, just, it's like, and she kind of like she keeps her eyes closed, <laughs> but she, it's just all covered with this like mud cake ground beef mess. She goes, "We're gonna be okay," and then she just, just smiles and goes. I'll go right through it. I'll go right through go. it, okay? Like, I just- I just go. wish- Me? Are you want me to run? Want me to go? You wanna get Hulk again? No. And then she just immediately makes a run for it. Just bolts towards the wall. And- Uh, well, Moth is- Moth is not gonna run yet. They're gonna try another thing. Um, yes. Moth is gonna try and transform the blood around them. They're back to normal height because there's a lot of blood here and they're just consuming whatever blood they can take. Um, yeah. Whatever blood Moth is currently touching, can they try and change the properties and turn it into ash? Ooh. That's in a mage system, yes, but in V5, I don't know how to rule that. <laughs> uh, I, w I would say, for the most part, you can make it coagulated blood that's flaky, not ash. And then it would warrant a blood craft rule. Would flaky blood like consistency work? Can I can I turn it into powdered bone? Powdered bone, yes. Um, that would still require high success rolls. Um, you just have to meet a minimum of five. How? Oh, like looking around. Can I do it in a big way or not? Like that seems like it's gonna be a long time. If you want, because like this is um, this is like it it spans football fields, so it's only within your vicinity that you can turn like the puddle of mass on the ground, whatever hanging bodies is there. It will exert a lot out of you. I would say it would. I would say for the instance of the blood, the pile of goop that you made on the ground and the bodies up top like about let's say half a dozen you could do five if you want to do more it's another five so then i think i think what moth is gonna do is they're just gonna siphon as much blood as they can into mm -hmm. their body into their own body so like moth is looking a little bit a lot more gross by the second <laughs> oh okay so you're just siphoning right now Okay, for the siphoning, I think it just you can just 
uh, do a blood craft, and I'll just have you do a stamina um, resolve to see if you're ha like how your body's withstanding that much absorption. Oh, I, I don't have a blood craft. Is it flesh craft? Is it bone craft? Oh, sorry. I keep saying blood craft, flesh craft. My bad. I thought I was okay. going to do blood craft in BDR. <laughs> Anyways. I'm so hungry. Am I hungry? I'm getting blood right now. No, but you're using it for something else, not for feeding. It's... Oh, okay. Uh. Oh my god. Oh my god. This this uh now can you make that stamina resolve for me, please? Oh, that's the the goopy mass of horror. This is this has become body horror. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is what I live for. Let's do Oh no, you're you're a mess. You're a hot mess. <laughs> yeah. Like like moth form is like getting more bloated and like their skin is like like it feels like what uh, a bloated dead body would feel like but instead of like gray it's all like fleshy like pinkish like raw bruise kind of look oh god I'm so curvy <laughs> I'm just playing a bit. Just, uh, just for people who might be crazy with all the script. But yes, as you're moving like this end mass of like, it looks like a bloody lava following you around with all this like rotting things going at me. Um, um, this woman that's been with you, who's just covered in the gunk, she turns to you as she goes, right this way, right this way, she runs, like, because, like, because of how big the place is, it takes a while for her, even at her speed, to get the other end. But she gets there. She smiles and nods as she, um, she kind of just turns, like, her eyes still closed, because she really, you know, like, and you can see the glow and the black slit underneath her eyelids, and she turns and makes a straight for it and like walks right into it in that moment we go back from the portal behind um Weilai, you guys saw see all of that unfold <laughs> what is griffin and uh oleander's reaction to all of that especially now that um moth is now this um, amalgamation of blood and flesh. Uh, I think Griffin would actually try to grab the portal and pull it further open if that's possible. He doesn't know if it's possible, but that would be like his first instinct. Okay. You... Oleander is just slack jawed at the scene. Okay. <laughs> what? As you tried to get there, um, uh, you feel like this force field 10 feet from Waylay, like, it's like, boom, boom, as you just, like, you know, like, if, it's like pushing you back 10 feet, like, you're keeping 10 feet distance from I Waylay. Can't, I can't seem to get through it. Um, there's a force, though, but if you're, would you like to brute force this? Ooh. Guess why not? I would try to push through the barrier, yeah. Oh, beautiful. Okay, I believe... Wait, I gotta check something. I have an art of what I think Moth looks like right now. Ooh, show, 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 show. Where, where, where? I'll put it in the chat. Damn! Whoops, on the way back. Yep. Them. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Well, well, okay. Um, I would say in this instance, um, you can do a strength athletics and then add your fortitude. So that's a plus five. Right.
Let's go the power of love. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. You you feel the force like it's pushing against your body. It's pushing every fiber of being, but you push past it. Wayla watches you in amusement as you push and push. And in that moment, it's like Jelly is running towards you. You're seeing the POV of her running from this blood pool area. Like the portal feels like it's a door to where you guys are at. And Yelly's running towards you, and you see this mass of moth moving towards you. You get, you push hard enough to get to where the portal is. What do you do? Like, Griffin would try to reach for it, and like, you said, like, it's kind of a, it looks small, so he would try to, like, no, it's it like on. it's like a you know like a door slit, but it's like a rip slit. Yeah, then you would like try to open it up further. Okay. The moment you grab it, in that moment as you touch it, I need you to roll real quick a stamina result plus pertain. Come on, this this should have been physically. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. I'm thinking if I should move for that or not. I would say yeah. It might I would. I would. I would. I would warrant hasty for this because you are acting hasty, regardless of your safety. So. It does nothing. I see you the moment you grab onto it and you see Yelly running towards you. This is from Ollie's POV. Yelly starts to run. The moment she goes through the portal, you see this like Ollie witnesses it. Her body as it makes contact through the portal. Um what okay, just to paint a picture for what Moth sees. It's like platform and three quarters. Yelly goes right through. From Oleander's pers uh, perspective, as Yelly goes in, her body turns to ash immediately. It's like ash, skeleton, bone, and then she gets to the other end, and it pours on Griffin this entire ash and skeleton that just falls on you. The moment your hands touch the portal, your fingers turn to skeletons, like the, the where your fingers try to make contact. So even through the marble? Yes. Yes. You are feeling pain right now. To 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 Moth's end, you just see Yelly go right through. To all, he just sees this uh, like turn to ash skeleton, and it's a skeleton just falling over Griffin and ash covering him, and his fingers, his phalanges, the tips of it, turn into skeletons. Oh my god! And Moth is oh. running after her. Holy fucking yeah. shit! Uh, all the would like. Oh, yeah. Try, Oleander would try and gather up the skeleton and whatever dust he can. It's like, fuck! Fuck! No! No! Yeah, you rush... He would, like, look at his hands in terror for a second and then the realization comes that Moth is... Yeah, Moth is moving. Yeah, Moth is, is moving. Wait, can Every... Moth see us? No, she's just seeing a wall. Oh, how Yelly ran into it? Probably not. All she's seeing is a wall. And what uh, Yelly so... said, which is like a farm and three quarters. But we can see a moth, right? Yes, moving closer and closer. So if that's the case, would dom dominate still wouldn't activate, right? Technically. Oh, what? What are you planning to do with dominate? I'm trying to just compel moth to get the fuck away from the wall. Okay. Uh, make that roll, please. Okay. Griffin would like scream off the na name, hoping that they hear him somehow. Please, please. Like, don't come here, don't come here. This is. This is a. I'd like to willpower. 
Yes, please. This is three dice. Please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's okay. fucking go. Let's fucking go. Oleander just like looks moth right in the face, uh, even though probably can't see them. He's like, get away from the wall now. In this moment, actually, the one that hears it is Pochi. How does how does Moth Pochi react to that? You hear this like the sense of urgency to like there's a voice, a familiar voice. This big amalgamation of flesh and meat that was running just stops. And then from the creature you guys hear just it just goes. What? Sorry, I didn't hear that. My bad. Oh, uh, the creature just goes. I have... And uh, she stopped. <laughs> they stopped. <laughs> <laughs> the noise I'm gonna hear it. Like... Nope. Oh I can't hear it. Oh my god! Was a funny, I but... Oh my god! I, I heard like uh, a tiny thing. I, I like... heard a help. Huh? Me? I heard no. a spray. I heard a spray. I heard a I think it was fuck me, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I, heard, I, heard, I heard a spray. That was like I did. I was like, "Hello, how's my mic now?" It's good. It's great. It's great. Are we here? Yeah. Fine. We just didn't hear the voice. We just uh, hear the, the, the the creature would just go Ollie, but like in a fuck up voice. I don't know. It might try again. It might. It will sound like it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it's a monstrous voice. It's. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so in that, uh, both Ollie and Griffin see the amalgamation of moth just stop, the voice coming out. Uh, Ollie, under, you would need to go through this barrier, like power through it, like Griffin, if you'd like to get to um, Tia Yeli's body, skeleton, ash thing. Hmm. Would, would you like to? Uh, hold on. Give me a second. I'm thinking on it. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, sure. How far in is it anyway? Is it? Did it like stop literally halfway through? Ten, ten feet. Ten feet? Yeah, fuck it. We ball. Okay. So... Um, make your, uh, uh, you don't have fortitude, but fortunately, so this is strength and athletics. Yeah, I do yeah. have fortitude. fortitude. Wait, didn't she take the vial? Yeah, I did. Oh, wait, all right, add the plus two, sorry. Go on. Oh my god, I almost rolled for Franco's thing, holy shit. <laughs> okay, so what was it that I roll and add the plus two to? Uh, so it's the strength and athletics plus two. Cool. Very cool. Yeah! Oh. Awesome. awesome. Okay. Um, it is just enough. You're feeling like it's a very painful push. It is like, oh god, this is... Like, the feeling like your bones, your muscles, like, you, if you could breathe, you wouldn't. Uh, and then, like, you, you, like, all the force, every fiber being just to get to the skeleton, and you actually... Uh, so, uh... You finally clasp at the skull, like you're exerting every fiber of your being, and you know, whatever time you had with TL is just put into that moment where you get your hands on her skeleton. And as you guys, both you and Griffin, are pushing against this force, you hear a soft chuckle. <laughs> Real quick. 
Great. I gotta I gotta ask consent real quick. I, I message a certain someone, check DMs. I need permission before I do the next moment. We're all about consent. This, consent. This, this, the DM is specific to uh, <laughs> a certain Mitch. <laughs> check, check DMs. Uh, yes, I know. I saw. I saw. I was thinking on it, and I was like, yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too hard of a choice. Okay, that's okay. Okay, all right. <laughs> So, in that moment, as you guys, like, you're holding your hands on the skeleton, the chuckle escapes, and immediately, the force is turned off. With both of you pushing hard against it, it turns off for a moment, so you stagger, both of you. And she turns it on again, throttling you both into the portal. But Fuck. as that happens, Griffin, you wanted to do something? Yes, I want to like, in the moment where she turns it off, I'm going to transform and swipe at her with a wing. Do it. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. It's obviously not gonna be flyby because I don't fly at her. Mm -hmm. But it will be feral claws. Nice. I will say in that moment, as you do that quick turn and the force pushes you, the swipe actually gets to her throat, her jaw. It actually completely removes her jaw. There's no lower half. Her eyes are wide as she starts to pull blood down her neck. But what Moth sees now on her POV. Two people throat pushed in but both of them don't turn into ash just yet the best um i need both of you to roll for stamina resolve to see how well you take the pain oh hell yeah wait where is my right there we go oh those are my not those are my two not bad stats. Not poop. Let's go. I guess I'm going to reroll that for poop more. Yeah, that's about as good as it gets, I think. My will call is useless. In that moment, Moth witnesses to uh, Ollie and a familiar owlbear on the ground. All of the feathers starting to turn into ash. And in that moment, when you went through the portal, Ollie, there's like a purple flame that encapsulates you, but it immediately turns off and you start to crack. You know, like almost like, you know, you start to see, you know, the, the effect that happened to Tia Yeli slower for you because the flames are trying to keep you intact as if your inner beast is just trying to keep you together. Both of you are in a lot of pain. The owl doesn't hide it. Moth sees both of them, Griffin and Oleander, disintegrate in front of you. Slowly. Because of the fortitude, by the way, uh, the owl takes a lot longer, so uh, you see the particles leaving Oleander faster than the owl. But they're going through the portal? No, they got pushed into the portal. They came out from the wall. You're seeing them right now. On the ground. I'm gonna run towards them. Yep. You are in front Can of them. I, 
can I grab right. um Moth is gonna grab Ollie and just whatever's disintegrating on him, Moth is gonna try and undo. Yeah. Uh I don't know, like everything from his face, his body, you can see like the flames are just fighting, but his entire body is starting to disintegrate. Yeah, There's... Moth is gonna grab his arm and lift him and then just like try and reverse whatever is happening on him by flesh crafting the blood that is in Moth's body into him. Yeah, you start to do that though, but as you grab the arm, you actually, like, when you grab it, the force was enough to disintegrate his hand. Like, it's like grabbing ash. Fuck. All Ollie would just, like, immediately go like, No! No! Uh, what's by the way, what does the owl do as you're it, like the feathers are starting to get, but you will take a lot longer to disintegrate, but you're starting to disintegrate as well. The feathers are starting to turn gray. Am I able to move? You can. Oh, oh shit. As one hey. last act of mercy for Oleander, I would like to an aesthetic touch. Yourself, oh. <laughs> himself, and Griffin, just to try and get the pain away. Yes. Uh, you know okay, the tattoo. You know the tattoo when it turns gray. That's the tex. That's the texture that you felt when. Um, Holy shit! Yeah, it's that soft. Yay! No hungry. Thank God. Uh, I will say right now, just for months, uh, you realize that the way of the magic is accelerating them like to di to disintegrate is way too fast for your flesh craft to work like you just realize that to your horror there's just too much oh i, I think moth is just i don't know what the five bane right work now. against this Ooh. what the five bane do anything the five bane actually keeps you for a while but um it's just this particular um, magic. Uh, it will keep you longer for a while than Ollie does. But Ollie's like, Ollie reaches out, touches you. The pain that you were feeling starts to subside. Fuck it, I'm and using the pain. If it keeps me around a little longer. You should do it. As Ollie, like, as Ollie uses an aesthetic touch on both of them, he's like, there, that should keep minds a bit more stable to think of a plan. What is happening? As in, you feel your limbs start to turn gray, it's like, you know, the purple flames now are acting like the tatol, you know? Like, <laughs> you're, yeah, your legs are turning gray, your arms are turning gray, where, where a moth grabbed. I actually would like to know what Pochi does in this situation. I think both moth and Pochi are like, stunned right now because they're scared to do anything to any of this to any of them okay. yeah griffin yeah. would would like try to reach out his arm towards mouth unsure if he's just if it's just gonna fall away if he touches them it stays intact it stays intact, but the feathers are starting to turn to ash. You reach out. What's going on? I think Griffin would just like hold him off by the face, like cup their face. Right. Yep. And place a kiss on Moff's lips. Oh, right. In the, in these like seemingly final moments, Oleander, with whatever he has left, looks towards Moff or Pochi, whichever one is more in control right now, and he's like, "Mimaseta, we didn't we didn't survive a whole demonio ordeal for you to go dying now and following me, all right? Keep, do your best." And the in those final words, what is the final expression on Oleander's face before he turns 
Oleander has like a small smirk on his face, like a small defiant smirk against the whatever death he might be experiencing right now. And he essentially turns to ash. It falls away to reveal his skeleton, which also turns to ash. Griffin is staying around long enough, though, but he doesn't have much. I think Griffin would like... Hmm. Guess you would like say, I'm, I'm sorry that I have to go already. Please don't follow me too soon. Is he um, okay? Also, the, the, the thing is like, mo mo Mochi is like a flesh. Demon right Demon. now, and then there's no expression on the face because it, everything is just like mesh of blood. Mm -hmm. And I think legitimately, Mochi is too fucking stunned to say anything right now. Okay, and I think then Griffin would just hold him till he disappears. He keeps the hope. Held hand as this mass just stands and starts. Like it's it's a, it, compared to the disintegration of Ollie, which was quick and painless. At least this one, you can tell that. Um, <laughs> by the piece, <laughs> uh, you start to see Griffin. At least it takes minutes. A full five minutes of him like slowly disintegrating if moth it's does strike, yeah it's five minutes but if you do try to do anything like um in your attempts to try to fleshcraft it's actually accelerates it i think i think uh mochi is just gonna fall on the floor and like try and collect ollie and like keep griffin close and just like, like they just keep on saying like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. In that moment, as they, as you start to mutter, uh, I want to paint the last few seconds of Griffin. What is this expression like? What is he doing? As uh, the moth. Flash blob is collecting Oleander's ashes. I think he will like try to act strong and like try to put on a smile towards Moth, but he probably can't stop like tears slowly forming in his eyes. His face starts to turn gray. His dual-colored eyes also starting to turn gray right in front of Moth. And then, in all this happening, it slowly starts to pan out from the yellow portal. And you hear a voice. You're really sure you want to do this, Cairo? Your type never plays fair. So everyone, as it pans, everything that just happened, happened in the portal screen, the back-to-back, -back, like a television scene. Seal smiling. This is the moment before Moth exploded. You're back at the seat. Griffin is outside, still in his 
owl bear form. Owl, big owl form. Sorry, not owl bear. I keep saying owl. Bear. <laughs> it looks like an owl bear. Owl bear from the top rope. Yeah. <laughs> I actually have a question. Is Griffin like Griffin right now, or is he inner beast? No. He's still in his inner beast, just as he saw him off. So this is the scene on it. So everything that transpired happened in the portal. And then you see Seal smiling. You, we can have, we can have this go through. I really do not mind. We can have, you know. But do you really want your childers to die? And you'd let them go? Well, initially I would, but because of a certain, um, well, I have a very horrible uh, dinner date. I don't like it too much, so I think it's fair I will put more into the table, don't you think? What are you Actually, asking? Well, of course, you could give up the location, no questions asked. Whoever's outside, they can go. I have no reason to keep your pets. No. Here he goes. Yeah, she looks at Griffin. From that reality, you had an offer to make. I heard it. Does that offer still stand? Then she looks at Griffin. Is Griffin like uh, yeah. close? <laughs> yeah, it's just, he's literally, he was clawing you. You were getting murdered. <laughs> you were holding oh, him. Right, right, right. You're that far behind, right? right, right. Yeah. Sorry. You gotta be big. My bad. Uh, is the question is, is Griffin of the presence of mind or is it like the bee still or has he's he not, reverting no, now? So you declared, at least from the conversations, that the the keyword was when he saw Moth. That's what snaps yeah. him back. So that's why Seal's talking to you now, because you are of presence of mind. Okay, okay. He's a child. So you are here. Your child, it seems. But yes, you heard. He made a made an interesting proposition. What was it? He was able to be possessed by demons. I wouldn't mind that. See, my... I'll let you all go. You give the location. I'll keep this one. Have, you know, teach her a little bit of table... Teach them a little bit of table manners. Etiquette. For the rest of eternity. But... Oh, yeah. is, wait, Ollie's here as well, right? Yes, yes, you are here. You... you by the way... You're alive! Ollie under for... would pipe up. It's like, wait, he's not the... He's not exactly the one that demons are looking for. Well, it came after me, though, multiple times. Yeah, and well, that was sort of Santi's me. thing that was more after me in the end. Uh, I don't think it was. Oh, yeah, it was. It was calling me, like, maestro and shit. Remember? Well, yeah, but it came after me three times after leaving well, of you. That's because you're easy pickings, kid. <laughs> Yeah. You sure? Yes. Well, I don't mind more offers. Anything of a valuable proposition to let go of this one. She, um, she nudges over at the individual behind her, which is Moth, still intact, still at the table. How is Moth, by the way, in this um, entire event? Just um, as an OOC, everything that happened at the reality, you all remember it. It is not wiped away because essentially it is a reality that happened. Like I think Moth is taking in what the fuck just happened. Like there it's just dawning on them that like, oh what? Is this a memory? <laughs> like the moth looks very confused right now. Well I will give you anything that isn't my life. Hmm. Fair trade. You did mention that you have the ability to be possessed by a demon. Could you imagine? Looks at Cairo. A gangrel possessed by a demon. She smiles. Ollie pipes up. It's like, what about the demons that were after Santiago? 
She looks you bad. You mean his demons? Oh. Oh, no, you're, you're Santiago's pet. Mm, yes, a demon that was promised to us. Looks over at Cairo. Not pet. Let me one up then. Take me instead. Oh, I wouldn't want you. You have. <laughs> you have fleas. <laughs> Thank you for that comeback. I will use that. You have fleas. I can tell you. You're giving me the location. That is a non negotiable for you That's to walk for away. Sure, but I can. You have nothing. You have nothing else substantial to offer me, dog. Oh, cat. Dog. Right. Whichever you are, animal. That's the only valuable thing I want. And your childers have something to offer, but we teach them a little bit of ways of negotiation. They have something to offer. I'm more than happy to trade. Wait a minute. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> She turns over. Oh, there are two kindred over here. Two of you, two little boys making a deal to let you out. I'm listening. But you need me for New Orleans, don't you? Oh, no, not anymore. I prefer sure. to torture. I prefer to torture you, really, after the potential of what you did to my beautiful skin. But... <laughs> These two are willing to wager something for your freedom. What happens to your ritual? Oh, it can wait. It can wait. She smiles. And she goes, no, silence, as I try to listen in to these lovely boys and their wagers. Just to clarify, the gang riddle... This young one, anything you say, anything. As long as it doesn't concern Moff or my life. Of course, of course. <laughs> if he comes with you, I come with him. You are not here to bargain, young one. They're bargaining. You're not on the table. I hope you know your place. She says that. As, and by the way, Waylay from the background is just quiet as she realizes her jaw has just been ripped off by the, the owl in front of her. She's like, backing off, backing off. Right, now. I would say, if both of you are offering, I would like to be given what is rightfully ours, the demon attached to this demon child and a demon a potential demon that we can attach to the other one they will serve me make sure they do one bidding that is all something they cannot refuse of course to make sure your life is yes their life will not be threatened at all And they'll need all the power they can get anyways for what it is I will ask. And what is it you would ask? For another time. But for now. Do we have a deal? She looks at Oleander and Griffin. Oleander yes. looks at Griffin yeah, first. Yeah. And then looks back and yeah. Yeah, yeah. we have a deal. Excellent. On one stipulation, he quickly calls out. Mm -hmm. If anything goes wrong with the demon possessing with me, you don't go through with it on Griffin here. Wait, sorry, repeat that. The GM blanked out for a moment. Can you repeat that? <laughs> if anything goes wrong with the demon possession on Oleander, don't go through with it for Griffin. Is his only stipulation. Oh no, your blood would see to it that you will get through with it, but I will oblige. That your... looks 
at Griffin and gives Griffin a face that just feels like, don't do this. You realize I could make more childbirths. Oh, please don't. Don't spread your filth. <laughs> don't spread your fleas. <laughs> So yes. what's so special about this one? Well, why should I tell you my thoughts? They've made a deal. We've shook hands on it. As she says that, you guys both feel, at least Griffin and Oleander, a sharp pain on your palm. As there seems to be a cut across it. And it starts to bleed. Ollie's just like, fuck! For real? I think Griffin is gonna like clench his fist, like stop the bleeding, and look at more with like a with, like puppy eyes. Hello. Puppy owl eyes. Oh. Alright. Well, the demon for our new pup. Maybe for another time. It does take some time. But for now, turns to Oleander. Your demon has been waiting. In fact, it has been rather frustrated, given the fact that you've evaded it. Servant yourself. It, huh? Nothing but a little reattachment will do. Now... I simply need you to open your eye. Your other eye, not both eyes. Your eyes are already open. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> he like... He visibly pauses a bit as he realizes, Ah oh, shit, she totally just saw what I was trying to do with both my normal eyes. Mm. He moves aside his like hair tuft that covers his forehead and opens his third eye. And then he goes, Now, repeat the words after me. I. I. Am a portal to hell. Am a portal to hell. And I welcome thee with open arms. And I welcome thee with open arms. At the word arms, I need you to roll for stamina resolve. Boy, howdy. Well, howdy, do. Howdy, howdy, do. Holy oh. God, do a cheat. Oh, that is like the second highest roll I could get. Yeah, let's fucking go. Okay. In this moment, you feel like a stabbing sensations on your chest. It was initially like, for a moment, it would feel like, oh shit, I feel like I'm gonna die, but it immediately subsides as. Then ma, then ma, DM pala. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes, sure, sure, sure. We. You. You kind of, for a moment, it was just like a, it, it just felt like heartburn. Oh, okay, that's fine. To so everyone else, they're seeing horns come out of your head. And a sharp tear on the pants as something rolls out. Not the third arms. <laughs> Not at the front, it's at the back. <laughs> And then starts to roll out. And oh shit, I'm low bad. Uh -oh. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, we're gonna finish. We're gonna finish this transformation scene. I, you know, the feeling when you got the purple flames manifesting for the first time—that raw power coursing through your body. Yep. Imagine that, but ten times. It's almost oh, maddening. Shit. 
Oleander would like scream out with whatever sanity he has left. I think I'm going Super Saiyan! And unfortunately, none of you have aspects. So you guys just see him with horns now. A tail? And his eyes are completely black. Now I need you to roll for a wits and resolve. Okay. Yeah! Oh my god. So Ollie, he thinks he's in control, but... There's a laugh that comes out of you, which is surprising. And Oleander realizes it's like you took it's like you took a seat at the back of the car. Someone else is driving. <laughs> Both gangrels sense something different from all you know. Slightly taller as his body just like start to expand longer arms he looks completely different to what he used to be actually what what would your demon do now in this situation it's got a body now it's angered finally you got the little shit <laughs> finally get to move what's the first order of business of this demon <laughs> oh, you little bastard. I've been waiting. Yes. And all but... you little assholes helping me evade him. You know how long I've waited? He, like, lashes out lightly at the two gangrels. Oh. So I think you would just take a step back for now. Kairos, the demon expert. <laughs> Feral claws open. Uh, can I? Can I keep the body? Do you want a feral claws, Ollie? It's still Ollie. Yeah, I would be scared to kill him if I actually smack at him. <laughs> You're right. Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, this is still Ollie. Twins. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know anything with uh <clears throat> maybe an occult role? <clears throat> oh, you can make a you can can you do a quick with an occult role as I run back to try to grab my charger as I am all bad. Go for it. Run. Run. What did you say it was again? Uh, occult and what? Yakult and what? Yakult and Oreo. And or really Oreo? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's so good. It's a weird one though. It's it like tastes, sour it and then really sweet. good. What do you mean? Wait, what? What sour? No, what Yacult was the other Yacult one? Yacult it was sour. Oh, Yakult is like sweet an aftertaste of sour. Yeah, aftertaste doesn't count as taste. Taste, we all know that. So what did she say oh. it was again? Um, I don't know. I wasn't one. paying attention. <laughs> Does anyone have attention? <laughs> okay, I guess no one was listening either. <laughs> what? What was it? Oh. Uh, a cult and what? <laughs> oh no, I missed it. Oh no. I didn't listen to that my roll. Huh? Chat, does oh. anyone know? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Ask chat. <laughs> chat, clip it. What did Denma say? See. Hello. <laughs> Actually, it hasn't been thirty seconds yet. Maybe I might just show. Oh, was that Denma? I'm gonna try a clip uh -oh. it and see if it works. Yes. <laughs> uh -oh. Denma uh... wasn't quick enough to charger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it does it. It does get. Hello, I'm. Uh, oh. I got my charger. Hold Still on. Time. Hold on. Hold on. What happened? No, it was the roll. Wits in a cult. Okay. Wits in a cult. <laughs> Thank you. Wits in a cult. Sorry, I was. Is it the, just a plus one? No, 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 I was looking for it. 
It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> so we actually had to clip the uh, stream just to find out what it was. God damn. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Can I? I would like to reroll that. Yeah, you can reroll it. Three of it. Because that's for no power. Oh, that's a you, uh, you? That, This is how you and Yelly became besties. You guys didn't listen in a cult <laughs> class or something. Oh, <laughs> that sounds about right. Uh, she fucking ran oh, into the fucking portals. <laughs> like an idiot. <laughs> Seems a little better, I think. <laughs> Platform nine and three quarters of my ass. Nine and three quarters of my ass! <laughs> you said you know magic, woman! <laughs> look, 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 I mean, some... look, she said no to yeah. trusting Cairo, and Cairo is like really old. <laughs> yeah, she trusted. She trusted the process and died. <laughs> No, she should have trusted the process and not died. So here's the thing. The oh, moment do I knew. The, more or less, you you've known you know that uh this is permanent now. There's no way you can serve it a connection with a demon as the person willingly took in the demon. As the Salubri can. Same with Sandy. <laughs> Sandy yeah, more or less. Um you understand that Santi had a similar situation with his own demon, that he had to welcome it and be the host. So the demon is forever anchored to Oleander. It cannot be pulled from him. Unless you kill him. That's oh, how... There's a... There's a... No. No. No buts. No. Because... Because Oleander... The only... The only way you do it is if you kill Oleander. That's why Santi got himself killed to server it. But Oleander accepted it. That's why Seal had to make him welcome it. She can't cast it for him. What was what? the deal again? Um, Moth's Moth freedom? Moth and Yelly's Moth freedom? For yes, the two yeah. of them? Yeah. No, actually, it was just... Uh, the thing is, she's gonna like everybody walks caught free outside of the portal. No one has made a bargain for Yelly yet. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the <laughs> seal agreed for two bargains from both groups. Yep. Please, you have to take me with you. Hey. Huh? Moth goes. Please, you have to take me with you. Just sheepishly and quietly. Very different demeanor from what Seal was dealing with. He goes, I'm sorry. Please, you have, please you have to take me with you. What no, I have I have no use for you anymore. And your friends are making the bargain. The least you could do is respect their wishes. If you're taking the two of them, you're taking my grounds, you're taking the two things that are keeping me alive. I'm a Tsumitsi. I don't stay in one place. I stay beside specific people. No, you can join them if you wish. I'm just agreeing to the terms in which they offered. I'm not taking them away from you. One bidding. And I'm giving them powers in which they could never leave. Something that is rightful to me, of course. Nothing is taken. Not to worry, my dear. And if I do take you, I'm afraid... Well, I wouldn't take too kindly of a... Another presence. That's lots what, about the, what about the woman? Yeah, at just like, yeah. What about me? Um, she goes, <laughs> she goes, oh, you're here. Uh, In no way, bro. She goes, hmm. No, I'll have you go. Uh, probably, I'll just. I'll put the snake in some 
snake tank and have you rot for an eternity somewhere in space in this hotel she goes oh god i can't even dress i'm gonna be a snake forever and then she looks at carol please please have fly the way out make a bargain please do it please do it please do it wait and she goes Wait, 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 wait. I can offer, I can, I, I can make an offer. I can offer offer. I know you don't, you don't want to make a deal with Kara, but I can make an offer. <laughs> uh, knowledge of the serpent is. I'll give you a couple of their spells. And you just see Seal Turns. Oh, you have access to those. Yes, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Two spells, maximum. For me to walk out. And then see those. Make it five, three, four, three. Goes four, or you don't walk. Fine, it's a four. It's a four. Isn't she gonna crawl out anyways? So I have to tell you, um, I'll spend two other spells in pending because I only have two. Let's just see Seal go. Smiles. I'll wait for those two spells then. Since I'm quite amused with you. You actually got this... Beast. To actually come He's after me. His arms. You're the brainchild to try to get me killed. I will applaud you for that. So... Sure. Or serpent this spells. You'll get the ire of your cult, but that's not my problem. She goes, Yeah, that's totally fine. That's totally fine. She's like she and she looks horrified. It's totally fine. Just totally fine. Just totally fine. Angry ant eaters. Like how dare you call them ant eaters? How dare you? No, it's it's no wonder Seal doesn't like you. At that moment, Seal ignores the chatter. He goes, The location. Can I have you all walk free? Well, it was not too hard to bargain with me, you know this, Cairo. Our location, give it. Say it out loud. If I have to know, it'll be kind of weird. Say it out loud. The Sanctum. Oh! Really? Where? Where exactly? It's easier to show you, to be honest. Perfect. And he's like scratching the back of his head, though. Perfect, because the bidding actually involves that. I'll have two of the childers with their newfound abilities to make their way there, and... Give you, give you, uh, give your sire a little nudge. She smiles. <laughs> I do enjoy watching you squirm. Oh yes, uh, she looks at all yonder and Griffin. I'll have you both. This one bidding. That's why I'm giving you the demon powers. You won't be harmed, of course. Just give it a little bit of a nudge. Poke it. And leave. That's all. They have to be the ones to poke it. Both of them. With their abilities, they wouldn't be harmed. Do you know how powerful he is? I'm aware. He smiles. For another time. But for now, looks at Griffin. Your demon will come shortly. I will come to you and bind the demon to you. It needs a few days, of course. And I'll take precautions given your condition. Make sure you're not harmed. So expect to see me in a few days. You need to hit join me. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it says no, no, we're different. Oh. Sorry. 
Hello, hello, friend from Greece, from above. <laughs> no, 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 that's oh. the demon talking. You have to hit join me. <laughs> join me. Join me. But yes. Oh. And that. Um, does Ollie try to take control back, or is it still going to be the demon for a while? Ollie would like to wrestle back control if he can. Yes, that would be. He, he is noticing that he's still in the back seat, and yeah, he'd like to take back control. Uh, this would be a wits and resolve, please. Mm-hmm. No, he's gonna fail. He's gonna fail spectacularly. No, no, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. Oh my god. Uh, two. I would say Ollie's in the forefront, but you know, like, kind of like you're having two two voices at the same time. No, it's like Ollie's up front, and then somebody talks out of you. The horns and the tail will remain, as is the third eye. But the eyes change to yours. It's no longer black. But whenever, like, basically, he'll keep inserting himself. But you are in control right now. Well, shit, this isn't our deal. Indeed. Well, it's been nice that the ritual has been successful. As all things intended. Because, well, off you both go now. In the blink of an eye, Yelly and Moth are outside of the portal. And the portal, the yellow portal in which you all have been speaking, is gone. So is Waylai. You are no left. Yeah, and there would just go. Wait, I'm just stuck like this now. More or less. <laughs> but Seal's no longer there. Bargain for. Yes, uh, he's currently in. Uh, you guys are currently in an alleyway, facing the hotel. The big cat is looking mighty dangerous right now. Yep. And yeah, we said, Okay. Okay. He survived. Right? That's what matters. Deep breaths. What cost? Would you rather be dead right now? Because I'm, I'm just... going to kill us either way. A thousand yards there. We're gonna be fine. We're gonna find a way. We're gonna find a way, right? We're gonna find a way. We're gonna find a way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um, as the scene starts to dissolve, I want to ask, where does this group go now after all this happening? I'm so tempted to have them throttle the kids. I mean, you could. Ollie oh, would fight it, back here as well. It, it's like. <laughs> So now what? Never knew your voice. Moth is, Moth is kind of just standing and not making eye contact with anyone. Does anybody want to make want some drinks, alcohol, blood over at our place? You know. You got a hotel? Yeah, I can go for some blood. I think we should talk to Goss. I'm not sure what I want. Well, it's either that or somebody might get in, in the way of things that are about to transpire. Here's the thing, though. Um... Well, um, well, it's gonna be out that we're, you know, from there. Do you think? Do you think Glossy's gonna be um very happy? You know, we've been secret. Don't you know? Don't you know what the movement used to be? Well, lots of hidden sleepers, sure, but you know, once they find out we're still active working, you know, they're supposed to be like retired or no longer part of the spot. Just saying. Yes. But once he wakes up, 
I think we should give them a fighting chance, don't you? What least. is this? Who is going to wake up? Both Yelly and Perry just turn towards both. Who are we supposed to give a nudge? My sire. And we're gonna fade the scene there. We'll declare when where you guys hang out at the end of this night, because this closes the night more or less. You guys have been through shit. <laughs> A lot of shit. So close to clicking a certain button. <laughs> you almost killed Ollie again. <laughs> mm, yes, yeah, so quickly, and I wouldn't be hungry. Okay. Okay. All right, and now we head to the third scene. Is Jake ready to give a recap? Yo, yo. Hello. Sorry, it took a while. We had to finish some scenes. You're fine. Yes. Paint us a picture of what happened on your scene last time. Oh boy, where do I start? All right. So it all happened after we left the hospital with uh, Grant. Um, when we left the hospital, we were supposedly going towards Gentilly after talking with, after giving Grant the instructions again and again. And again. And again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do whatever, you know, he can talk to my sister. And again. <laughs> and then after we were finally able to get coherent action, uh, coherent instructions of going to Gentilly, we tried going there. Emphasis on tried. Right. We got lost on our way there, and um, I felt a chill. On in my spine, and then Grant punched the face in a dark. <laughs> I turned around, I turned around, grass, and you know, everything went to shit. Um, I um, after a few talking, and you know, Grant all you know, bending Rass's legs in another direction, he was on the floor and. For some reason, a deeper part of me forced to try and kill Grass. Burning and ripping his face, marking him with whatever power I've got. Uh, Hekata, was it called? I need to do some more research on that. But for some reason, that felt really, really good. Kind of wanted to do it again. But at the same time, gotta, gotta keep a low profile for Grant. So we continued on our merry way, going to Gentilly. All right. So, unbeknownst, can I have both of you, uh, unbeknownst what was happening all, all there, can you make a, uh, <laughs> what's in Streetwise, both of you? You mean an attempt? <laughs> an attempt to, to try to get out of uh, the lost state. They say blowing at the dice gives you luck. I blow at the screen, maybe it'll work. <laughs> oh, yeah, most definitely. That yeah, it's deep. Oh, wait, why didn't it roll I anything? Mean, what? I, no, um, it's rolled 3d10. Wait, what is your, your, uh, I don't know. Well, I have zero in streetwise. Oh, okay, that makes so much sense now. Yeah. But if, if it's wits and street plus, it should be like the attribute should be wits, right? Three plus, yeah, it's supposed to be three. But I think you're also hungry. Oh, yeah, it all went to hunger. So, uh, or no, yeah, so it went to hunger. You rolled a five, five, five. Okay, what about Grant? Grant? Wits and street plus, Mr. Grant. Okay. Yeah. Streetwise gotcha. How's your yeah, internet, yeah. by the way? Doing okay? Uh, so far, oh. so good. Oh, good. Question mark? Don't, don't jinx it. Oh, wait, wait, don't. Just Streetwise, right? Uh, streetwise and then Wits. You click Streetwise oh. and then you go Wits. Gotcha. Yes. 
Please, for the love of God. Oh, hey. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's not bad. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It's, it's like, it, you know, Jake was starting to get lost and like, he felt like I'm he tired, was man. Yeah. Ooh, I think I know this alleyway. Yeah, it's um, not no. Yeah, it's starting to look familiar. You're seeing the street. Um, like, you actually are uh, making breakthrough from where you guys were walking. From oh, yeah, yeah, down yeah, yeah. that way. While we were walking, I'm like, hey, uh, yeah. Grant, you got any blood on you? Uh, do I? Then? Uh, you are the leader. Uh, the blood packs that you had were not used by your team. So on your person, you do have three. Uh, Grant grabs two and gives it to Jake. There you go. And I grab the two and then you just see me like double slurp it. Or... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's, it's going to be a while, Grant. Uh, give me a second here. <laughs> you take your time. <laughs> Nah. Must be convenient. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, it, it's hard. Uh, I can't imagine what you're going through. Maybe wanting to bite, like you know, people, your friends. Well, yeah. well, you know, despite all of that, everybody seems to be somewhat accepting. I'd say that's <laughs> I, the best part. I, I squint my eyes, and I'm like. Everybody, including the person you attacked, that uh, what's his name said, Nick, uh, right, Nick. Yeah, oh, I, uh, I, I think well, it's Blitz. Frank. It's Blitz, Franco. Yeah, no, no, yeah, but, but, yeah, but like Nick told it to me, right, the ghoul. All right. Yeah. Oh. I was like, yeah. So Frankie. he's I'm accepting. He is accepting of you taking a bite out of him, like he's fresh steak. Uh, maybe. Wow. Must be nice to have that kind of friend. Yeah, no, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. Hey, when hey, promise me this. When you meet up, ask him ask it ask if he'll allow you to take another bite out of him, eh? Uh, I'd probably get the fist into my face. But oh, hey, we're to try, right? In that mm -hmm. moment, as you're saying that, can you make a quick wits and awareness grant? Uh, yeah. Wits and awareness. Do-do-do-do. There you go. Ooh. Nice Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Wait. Hello. 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 Oh, oh, yeah. Please don't wait, don't oh, press the wait. button. Don't press the glowing button. No, 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 no. Uh oh wait, no. I think I think Mitch is somewhere else. Okay. Oh. Mitch, are you there? Hello? Hi. I need you to do a roll real quick. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Okay, okay. No problem. I can the, do that. Add, 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 add the... <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, holy shit! <laughs> uh, oh no! Out. In, in that moment, hold on. Like when you said, you know, if he probably sees me, 
He's probably gonna punch me in the face right now. In that moment of slow mo, you slowly turn your head and you see like this. It's slow mo for you, but for Jake, it just happened in a blink of an eye that you just get punched and like shoved against the nearest wall. As Damn somebody, right, asshole! Like the super, super fast speed just makes contact to your face and you are sent flying. Like this guy just like blinked and punched you right in the face. I go, I go, whoa, whoa. Frank, Frank. Jesus <laughs> Christ, what was that? Yeah, you get slammed against the wall, but you know, it, it's like you, f- you feel. You, you felt that, like, holy shit. And there's there's a redhead huffing in front of you now, like... I'm like... Oh, I'm hey! Frank. <laughs> Frankie! As soon as he says that, Frankie would... Or fucking Frankie to like... Franco would try to kick him straight in the groin. Okay, uh, make a, a strength brawl that add the plus one. Um, I need Grant to make a dexterity athletics to dodge the kick of death to the balls, please, please. Can I add the plus? One? No, wait, I cannot add the plus one there. Um, you want to will that? <laughs> you want to? Yeah, probably. Uh, wait, what do you want to add? Sorry, athletics. Um, do you have a? You you only have a do you lift, bro, so I don't think that applies to that. Oh god, I didn't add a plus one. Oh no, you dodged it. Like okay, the first the fist you you were willing to accept, but the balls? Nah, fam. <laughs> You're like Hell nah, those are your balls. <laughs> so you basically quickly sidestep as he just does, does this high kick. Grant just goes, hey, 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 hey. I just only said a punch, not a kick to the nut. You fit me! You were... In hindsight, I didn't know I was hungry for, you know, vampires. Yeah, well, in hindsight, it fucking hurt! And then, and you hear a voice from the end of the alleyway. It says, It's all good. Franco, you can take it from here. Hmm. For real? As you turn... Where the heck are you, buddy? Come on, buddy. Where are you, buddy? There you go. We don't have all day. We still have somewhere else to be. You know that. But he's he's the one who... And then he points at where his torn piece of clothing is, where the bite marks were. Look! It was an accident. Also, Jake, who is that? The, the, the man is serious looking at you. Do you know um, what you are? A vampire? Oh, Not for a second, I thought he was talking to me. He looks at... Oh. He side-eyes the... Jake. And then looks back. I'd rather you come quietly. You can have your friend run along. Who said anything about friend? Hmm? Oh, even better. Then you can come along with us. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Unless you want to be near like tra- that, Jake. Damn. Well, we can just drag you I, to the call. You, you see Jake shrug? Like when, when Grant said, damn, that hurts, Jake. You see Jake shrug? And he's like, man, man, I only met you today. Uh, fair enough. Uh... Yeah. I kind of don't but, want to. Are you actually gonna come quietly, Grant? You quietly? Really? I don't know. Have I ever at done the, anything quietly? At the mention of that, there are two people that drop down. A man in glasses, which I unfortunately didn't get. 
Manning glasses. Smiles at you. And another burly, like, muscle man who also jumps beside you. And he goes, If anything, you're doing a service to society, both mortal and kindred. You know you shouldn't exist. You'll only bring harm to everyone else. Grant just Grant. says, oh, You can't believe that shit. Hey, Jake! As he tosses the phone back to Jake. Hey, girl, mm-hmm. dude. I'm like, yeah? Tell whoever, well, tell Gossi and the rest. Guess I went down swinging. Oh, shit. Are we doing a fight? Are we doing a fight? Are we doing a fight? Yeah. <laughs> you, see, you, see Jake, you see Jake go, aye, aye, Captain, and then he summons a tentacle in his hand and flings away. Ooh, let's go. Okay. I can use, I can use cool stats. Okay, let's go. Okay, Grant, what do you do in this situation? You're basically fighting Franco, um, this guy, and two other individuals behind you. I'll let you do your first action. Oh, it's still in an alleyway, right? Oh, yeah, still in an alleyway. What's my surroundings? Um, you basically got yeeted into a nearest brick wall. There's dumpsters around you. Um, street lights, poles, there's a great metal. God. Damn. I love this though. I love this fight. Um, wait, then can I, add, can I add something first? So, uh, Jake flings away, right? Mm-hmm. He's actually like on the top of the roof looking down at the fight. <laughs> he, he's, like, he just says, alright man, see ya. And then he goes away, but he's actually just like Stealth on like top of the room. Cool. Grant grabs a brick from where he got launched to. Mm-hmm. And then he smacks it at the nearest person that's behind him. Okay. Uh, there's the glasses dude and the muscle guy. Who are you targeting first? Glasses dude. Okay. So, make that uh, strength brawl plus, I'm guessing this is in, this is gonna be, uh, you can add your plus one for kindred. This is technically a street fight, so plat, add another one. Uh, so that's a plus two modifier, and yeah, that's about it. Hi. I believe. <gasps> Yo! Oh! Oh. Damn, thank wanna... god that ain't me. God, do I want to dodge this? Do I want to dodge? Of course I'm going to fucking dodge. This is a fight. This is a fight. Gotta, gotta make gotta make my boys look cool. It'd be so funny if you say that and then they roll like a fucking one or something. Don't drink it. Don't drink it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Wait, that's one, two, three, four, five. Plus two. Seven. Oh no, it's a tie! Okay, Grants goes through. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. So, here's what happens. They initially dodge. Um, How do you punch? Like, backhand punch? Or do you... Yeah, it was a backhand. <laughs> so, what you did is, like, they, du- they duck the backhand. But they didn't expect you to straighten your fist and hit them right in the jaw. <laughs> So that's what happens. Like they they dodge it, but you see how fast they dodge it. So, but then you just went. <laughs> so when you straighten your arm, it hit their jaw, and then they stagger back a bit. They look at you, and their glasses is lopsided, and there's a little crack on the left side, and it says, and it looks at the man who was in front of you with a cigarette and an eye patch. It goes, "Can I rough this one up?" And then it's kind of goes. He didn't want to go quietly. First and foremost, <clears throat> he stood behind me. Secondly, uh, he could have asked nice. This was us asking nicely. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I sent you something. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, patches. Was that nicely? 
it was as nice as we could have been. We spoke to you nicely without using any force. At that, as he says that, um, the muscle man will try to grab you. I need you to do a dexterity athletics as he just tries to hold you in place. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my god! So this, he just, as he mentions that quietly with cigarette on his hand, like you see, feel two arms grab at you, and you feel yourself like held in place in both your arms as he's as he's yanking like shit, shit, like, yank, yank. Um. Okay, okay. And then he goes, this is as far as a kindness we could give to the likes of you. We thought we could at least see sense. We have no control of how your friend reacts to it. Like, and how does Franco react to that being called a friend? <laughs> to this guy, <laughs> the grand? He spits out a friend, friend, he says. He says. Anyway, he's not really he's not owned really... any kindness, I think. Hey, we were friends. <laughs> it was just uh, yeah before you bit me i was hungry and then grant did the so uh, soaring leap through like the crap brick wall <laughs> while being hung. oh you want to do sorry okay this would be um oh you're gonna carry the dude this is everybody uh this is a strength athletics you can add a plus one because you're lifting somebody. <laughs> it's gonna be so much. Literally <laughs> lifting, bro. <laughs> literally lifting. Oh, I was literally lifting. Oh my god. Uh, he has to make a dex. One. Oh no, he's gonna fail. <laughs> he, he, he is. He is dragged with you as you do a sword. <laughs> like, like, he was able to hold you in place, but the moment you jump, he's like, Ugh! Okay, Jake, what, what do you do in this situation? Um, so, Jay, like, while well, they jump up, right? Mm -hmm. Did they jump up or jump towards the wall? Uh, Grant, clarification? One, upwards. Okay, so the moment they jump up and I see Grant pass me, I look down and I scream, hey! I scream, hey, really loudly. And as soon as they all look above, I'm going to use... I'm, I'm going to use my ability, Eyes of the Serpent, <laughs> to immobilize all of them. Mm, oh, okay. It says uh, I can immobilize victims by making eye contact with them. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. Um, and since I yelled, hey, you know, they would look up because, you know. <laughs> Wait, hold on. For a turn, is there a specific role for it or is it automatic? It's, a, it's, a, it, it's a, they have to do what's, what's composure against my, cur against my charisma manipulation. Okay. Cool, cool. So I'll roll separately. Uh, mm -hmm. Franco can roll. Wits and what now? Wits, wits and composure. Shit. The first one is fine. The second one is not. Against my manipula charisma. Crap. Oh what? well. Okay. <laughs> Oop. I'm maxed well, out on both, by the way. Manipulation fuck. and charisma. I'm maxed out. <laughs> okay. What? Do, well, how much is your manipulation? Uh, I mean, I'm gonna roll. Uh, I mean, click, click, click. yeah. Oh wait, manipulation <laughs> and charisma. Why is it not working? Oh no, manipulation and presence. Oh okay. Wait, how do I? Is it so manipulation go... and? Yeah, you go to you go to presence. Discipline, right? Yeah. Discipline. There we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, wait. This one's manipulation. Oh, this one's manipulation. Discipline. Yeah. Can I just click it? Yep. Work. Work. It's working. Wait, where are you clicking? 
I'm clicking the power. Oh, hold on. Let me check. Oh, or do you click this one? No, the one on the right. It says yeah, public role. It. Does it show public role? Uh, yeah. And then click submit. Modifiers. Oh, wait. Yeah. It says whisper. Yeah, it says whisper only to GM. Yeah. Sorry. My badge. My badge. But yeah, there. Now, let me try it again. Another... Uh, it's a. Uh, it's, uh, Oh no, Still my no. But that's okay. <laughs> Why is it not working, honey? I don't know. Uh, I think since I got to roll it, it is a 3d10 plus 2 hunger. So you just roll 3d10 and then roll 2d10. Okay, so I'm rolling 3d10. Oh. And then 2d10. Yes. Okay, that is. Can I do a wits? Oh no, no. wits. Can I do a uh, no? Uh, what a do you call it? Yeah, a willpower. Yeah. yeah. Um. Do you are you just rerolling one, which is the this is the. You should, yeah. just, okay. You get that's one d ten because uh, the other two are already successes. Hopefully, you get a ten. Yeah. So you crit. There we go. Nice. Okay, so that's one, two, three. So that's three. I have to beat a three. Oh no! Fuck! Wait. <laughs> Uh, so I will roll first for the muscle guy. Yes, yeah, pretty low. Oh wait, how much is it? It's a three. What? Followed by this is a ultra press intelligence. This is from the glasses guy. Oh, the glasses guy is paralyzed. Interesting. Muscle guy still intact. Followed by, um, paralyzed then. Yeah, Frank was paralyzed, and then there's my boy. It he just passes of your three. Hmm. Oh shit! So glasses guy, glasses guy, and Frank was paralyzed. As you intervene, he says. You do not wish to get involved in court matters. He looks at you. I uh, well, I'm while I'm looking. I say that the angel is doing kind. They involve me in court matters already. Nangles. They're pathetic, really. Not even so bad. Hmm. You know, I was kind of forced into it. I'm as expected. More lies, more treachery, and then he goes. Grabs, grabs, uh, bear hugs the the muscular dude as they drop down. <laughs> so like, like, the uh, big dude is just like, like a suplex. Yeah, suplex from the air. Let's fucking go. Yeah, suplex from the air to the ground. Okay, I will. Da -da -da. Oh god. Hey, 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 hey. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking that's a what that's Franco. Hey, hey. And then he looks up. What? <laughs> and then he's just frozen. Oh my god. So that's oh by the way, you add a plus one body slam for that. Uh I need oh by the way, um can you make a quick uh uh Composure resolve, please. Uh, this is for Jake. Oh, yeah, sure. Do I put in brawl and strength? Strength and brawl plus one because you're dealing with a kindred. And actually, plus two because uh, street fighting. Beautiful. So, composure resolve. Yeah, I believe. Mm. One more oh, willpower. Let's go. Alright. Uh, three. Three D10. Right, yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. I'm down to two. Let's go. 
Oh wait, do I get any ano ba? Do I get anything from last session? Do I get any will power from last session ba? Um it's if I think you acted on I acted on virtue, right? Yep, so that means it just refreshes. Okay. I I have I have three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh no, stop clicking on things. Stop. I was supposed to roll. Oh. So stop it, stop. Since you failed, uh his ability is corrosive vitae. So it feels like your blood is on fire right now. Because he, he's basically maintaining the eye contact that you gave him. Because you, you tried to eyes of serpent him, he's like, no. And he's like, he his one eye it feels like he makes your blood boil, literally. Um, uh, do I take damage from that or no? Um, it says, well, it's just, uh, you just feel it. I just feel it, yeah. You're just feeling it, you're gonna be, with okay. because of your low roll, you're gonna be very distracted to it. Uh, yeah. what was your roll for, um, roll, sorry? Oh no, it's a 1-1. One, one. Okay, I will just... He will actually take the blow, but in this instance, like, you know, like when you do a suplex and then he... Um, he instead twists his body for it to hit your head going down. Let's see. Uh, uh, he's gonna counter-wrestle you. Let's go. Oh, by the way, kind of looks like this guy. What am I looking at? Sorry, I'm gonna post it on secrets. This is for a grant. So you, so you have awareness of what he looks like. <laughs> Just on the wheezing cat. No, yeah, no, no. That's what he looks like right now. <laughs> oh, it's a it's, okay. <laughs> okay. He has a gentle face. Well, he's wrestling you. Uh. uh... Did that roll? Did that roll? No? Wait, pull that. Sorry. I was like, it didn't reflect. Stop! Stop! Sorry, it's supposed to be one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's just five. So he counter-wrestles you and hits your head. And it's it's just like, it makes you woozy for a bit. Uh, you'll be taking... Against that roll, half. You'll be taking two superficial just from that impact. And in that moment, he just goes, You just see your scanner. Roll out. We don't have time for this. We don't have much till morning. We have other things to do. And as the blood is boiling and Jake is distracted, they essentially drag just in the moment of Grant, like being stunned, drags them into this uh, big SUV. I will warrant both of you one last action as, you know, Grant can still move, but you're kicking one, screen. One last action? Yes. So Jake closes his eyes like, ah, fuck, and then he looks at Grant and he's like, he ponders for a sec. I want to, For this is for me, I want to roll, um, I, uh, I'm going to roll a d20 and see what Jake will do in this situation. Mm-hmm. All right, give me a second here. I believe. All right. Jake has this odd feeling that, you know, even though they've only met, he wants to do st something to save Grant. And seeing as Grant doesn't care about these people, he looks at, at his tattoo tar and he's like, want death? Fine. And then I I put the arm on the ground as I will summon every ounce of my ability using arms of the abyss to go on a rampage on the van. And I will actually let the darkness take control of Jake. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh. Okay. Right. Like he's gonna he's gonna let the darkness control over him. And then he's like, Alright, Grant, let's see. And then at that moment, the phone is he because he wants to the phone safe. The phone rings. He snaps out of it. Wait, wait, wait. Um if, if like, you're if you're letting yeah. the darkness give in, mm -hmm. do you do a, yeah. You're letting what, what it. You, I'm I think letting it. If you're letting it, because I would warrant like a composure resolve for that moment. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, gonna, like, I'm gonna let Jake. So I know composure resolve, right? Yeah, composure resolve. I'll roll that. I, 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 I want to see this darkness take over Jake because he he wants to try his best. What? Oh, uh, yep. Oh you no. Know. Good luck, guys. We'll grab. Uh, Okay. In that moment, it's like as they all start to get to the car, I want to ask first: What does Grant do? What is his last action? Grant just stares at Jake and smiles a bit. Well, guess I'll be seeing you guys in a bit. Can I have a cigarette? Uh, as you're saying that, uh, and then like, initially, the man who was smoking hands over a cigarette out of polite. Is this? I mean this in no, uh, I mean this in no negativity. This is simply business. And as he's saying that, and then he turns, and then he sees Jake, just you know, like that kind of darkness shadow anime style, which is raging around him. And you plan to. I'm gonna summon like everything, like every ounce I can summon with Arms of the Abyss. Okay. Shit. Okay. <laughs> Grant lights the cigarette and stares at Jake. Oh boy. Okay, so make a full on attack and we'll just add. I think the last time we add, we added a plus three for the mm -hmm. tentacles. Yeah. So we go this. We go. Plus three. Let's see. Oof. Yo, know, that's worse than my normal roll up before from like and, uh, with the battle with uh what do you call this? With Samus. <laughs> oh shit. Five Wait, oh my god, why is my are you planning to do a reroll for the two dice? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, I will, I will. So that's 2d10. Oh, there. Six. Where is the are, where's the tentacles targeting? Um, The guy who burned my blood. Oh. So in that moment, as he turns and the tentacle starts to rush towards him. The man in the glasses, well, he's still going in and he's just adjusting his, you know, like he's taking out of the stun. Franco is also heading inside, sees that tentacle. In that momentary reaction, pushes Franco in front of where the, where the man, the eye patch man was. And in that moment, the tentacle goes straight like a piercing blade into Franco. Oof. And <laughs> and it's just the pointed thing is like close to like it's like it goes through the open window where the door is. Wait, <laughs> fuck. And hey, what can I say, what? Frankie? Snitches got stitches. Yep, and you start to see blood coming out. <sighs> we'll have to tell Austin we've killed her new pet. Oh my god, I'm like, sorry, Frankie. The goal is 
the goal is to like start ripping him piece by piece. Yep. Until so, like there's no nothing left of him. Yeah. And in that moment, actually, you blink back and you see that in, it didn't go to the intended target. Uh, and this is uh, where the phone would ring. Uh, okay, the phone rings and uh, I answer it from afar and I put it on speaker. You know, you know the thing with the stick. <laughs> like, well, as <laughs> as you're trying as you're trying to do that, as you pull away, the the tentacles are still destroying Franco. This is the this is blood spraying on the guy's face on where it's being drilled at, and they casually drive off as you answer the phone they're like not even bothering to have a dialogue with you because they came for what they wanted and grant uh, is still behind the car like being driven off with blood splatter a la uh, pulp fiction he he turns around and he's like i should have stayed i'm sorry man and he looks at franco like seeing him getting ripped apart like i'm sorry man you should franco uh, would just be like <laughs> <laughs> I, I should have to stay true. I should have broken my oath. I killed someone in cold blood. And then he answers the phone and then he puts it on loudspeaker. It's like, yeah. So you take choppy. So it's like choppy. Uh, <laughs> figures. He he puts down the phone, and is 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 the arm like satiated from like the killing of the guy? <laughs> um, it's still twitching. It's still twitching. Like he, your mind is intact, but the hand's still twitching. It still wants more. I I look at the hand and I'm like, man, aren't you hungry? And then he uses the tentacle. It's like all right, and then he uses the tentacle to go to Gentilly. And then, um, do you, wait, do you actually leave Franco bleeding on the floor? He's dying, but he's still alive. Oh, wait. Oh, he's still alive? If he's still he's alive, then... He's choking to death, you know? <laughs> oh, he's still alive. <laughs> if, if he's still alive, then Jake would go down. Like, he would take the phone, Jake would go down, he'd look at Franco, and he'd be like... Fuck me. And then he wraps Franco in the tentacle, like, as as safely and as tightly and he goes back to I know he goes back to the sanctum instead. Oh. Franco would like let out a gargled scream of both pain and terror, thinking of what the fuck this cynical is gonna do to him next. Yeah. You're like, you're like, oh, fuck and then as as he rolls, Jake is just looking at his arm and he's like, don't do anything to him. As he's like shaking, because like the arm, the tentacles are controlled by the arm. <laughs> so he's oh, like, "Oh, can as you're saying that, can you do a quick uh, composure resolve? See if you have control over this arm." Composure resolve. I believe. I believe, I believe the children of our future. Oh, interesting. Um, I, I'm, I'm talking to them. I'm like, don't you dare hurt them. And then I'm going to go to the, san- the sanctuary as fast as I can. Oh, real quick, as you say, don't do that. It drops Franco unceremoniously. I'm so sorry you're getting beat up like this, Franco. <laughs> it drops, still bleeding out. And it's you see it's pointed like tentacle towards you it's as if the shadows start to turn against you like they all start to turn and then like it looks at you for a moment like it almost as if it's sentient and then it goes back to picking up franco and then uh, and then while that's being wrapped around jake jake mutters don't worry you'll kill two very powerful sombras soon in that muttering, that's when your arm finally relaxes. Almost as if taking your words like a promise. So we're going to end the session there.
real quick because we actually went oh well, I'm, I'm glad i'm like i can stay up because i don't have class tomorrow but um yeah, we're gonna end it there oh my god Grant sorry, with Franco. Kid I'm sorry Franco. <laughs> sorry Franco just kidding but, Lamel, this is the best outcome i could have hoped for i got uh <laughs> franco got to punch grant real hard i know it was beautiful it was a fucking nine um uh, but yes uh we're gonna end it there it's very late for some people but thank you again for people who stuck around we i think we did a total of almost five hours jesus holy Excuse me. you know okay. if you wait 30 oh, minutes wow, longer, it will be five hours yeah but <laughs> How do I explain to Gossy that Grant is gone and I have a dying Franco in my hands? I know, right? <laughs> but oh, um, for the God. next... She was <laughs> bigger <laughs> fish to worry about, I think. Um, I am, I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's think about what to tell Gossy when we come back with a now demonized Oleander. I mean, yeah, you can always come back without an Oli. There, there is a lot of shit that went down. <laughs> just come back without Oleander. Yeah, I will just say though, uh, for the, uh, we'll do the role next session because it's also the start of a session. Um, I will also um, with the post scene to. Uh, there will be. There's actually. There was supposed to be a post credit scene, but we definitely wanted to close some threads for Wednesday. So we're gonna do a quick a couple of flashbacks. There's gonna be a lot more role play uh, for the next uh, for the next session. And just a heads up for people that are watching, uh, we are we will end arc two on episode twenty with the epilogue being on episode twenty one. So uh, tune in for that. We're down to our last few episodes for arc two, and then arc three will be the longest, which will have. 20 episodes so it'll be double. so we're gonna read out it's slash raid so we're gonna read to <laughs> it's slash raid not exclamation point so we're gonna read out to Rob for now and um thank you again for joining uh i really wish you guys got the witness the post scene but it is very very late <laughs> it is 2 30 for me so we'll save it for the next time and we'll be and, and we'll let the people process what the fuck just happened. Then Mahi does not have please. That was my no, best no, one yet. No, are, 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 are we the no, are, no, please? Are we the rating? Is the rating? Yeah, we, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Be, uh, rating. Uh, Rob. Blue sky, Rob. Yeah, old man Rob. His birthday was this month. Is entirely birth month. Birth month, and tomorrow we're gonna play Valhalla. So this is this is perfect. Ooh. <laughs> uh. Um, All right. I could so feel Ben was struggling to come up with an insult for Cairo earlier, so I had to pipe in fleas. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate you. I was like, oh my god, how do I insult? Him? How do I insult this person? She's just being like. <sighs> okay. Please now, like, what did I do to okay. you? Well, thank you, everybody. <laughs> uh, see you all next Monday. Uh, we'll be writing Rob now. Bye now. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.